Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with some Terraria. Uh, wherein I've gone back to the sandbox game because we need to do a bit of practice against the old Moon Lord. Um, I don't remember if I've actually cracked open the Moon Lord fight on this save. But we're going to find out. Uh, let's see. Do we have... What's that stuff called that makes the super mana potions? Well, if I haven't made a super mana po uh, healing potion yet, then we probably don't have it. Uh, have we killed... Golem? Probably not. Based on the, the fact that I don't know where the temple is. Alright, let's get to it. The blood moon is rising. Don't care. Down we go. Um, I might want... Danger Sense Potion. If we have that. Fantastic. That might help with finding the dungeon. Um... Uh, the pyramid, that is. Oh, wait. Have we not killed Plantaria yet? Alright, we're doing that. Uh, so we're just going to speed through this on God Mode, because... We're here to try killing the Moon Lord. I still only have... Nope, here we go. Some deep fish run stuff. I actually thought uh, this sandbox game was a bit further along. This DPS is lower than I thought it would be, even though we're not wearing uh, ranged gear right now. Okay. Hurry up with the dying... Fantastic. Give me the temple key. And I'll put that away for later. Now, we need to find the temple. Where be the temple? I don't think this rail goes any further. Let's just start digging. Uh, can I get a mining potion, perhaps? Fantastic. And let's get the chisel in here as well. There we go. If we could just get this water out of the way, it might be slightly faster. I don't know of any cheats that would just teleport me to the dungeon or find it or anything, unfortunately. Oh my god, this water. Get out of the way. There we go. Nope. Much better. some light. There we go. Fantastic. Getting pretty deep. Don't think we're going to find the dungeon right this minute. Uh, the temple, that is. See if we can't cover a bit more ground. I 
think I should have got a map editor so I could find it. some rail. Let's cover all the ground we can. A temple over here. Doesn't look like it. And we're out of the jungle. Back the other way then. Don't tell me it stops here. Nope, we're good. It kind of does. That's a marble biome. Um, how about through here? how this silt just falls behind. Rail, let's go. Um, maybe more likely to find it up this way. to the left. must be really aggravating for speedrunners sometimes. It literally... oh, accidental plant terror. Oh well. on where the temple can be, really. It's usually quite deep, though. Hey, Philip B. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Does it spawn in a specific depth or just anywhere in the biome? Uh, the temple, it has to be somewhat deep, but I don't know exactly how deep it needs to be. Um, and it does have to be in the jungle. If I see a gap in the usual traps, uh, the, the bee things and the cobwebs and stuff, and I see actual temple traps instead, that'll obviously be it. The helper, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. What armor? Uh, it's just media armor. This is the sandbox save that I used to practice uh, killing Duke Fishron with pre-hard mode, or almost exclusively pre-hard mode gear. Um, and I was going to use that to 
uh, to practice against the Moon Lord a bit before we try it on the Don't Dig Up seat. But uh, what I didn't realize is I don't actually have Golem killed yet. So we need to sort that out first. Mad Dame Salsa, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I've seen it fairly shallow in the temple, and it's possible that Seed has it higher up, because higher up is more dangerous there. Yeah, this is just a regular Seed, this one. Um, there's also some stuff out of date, like uh, the stack sizes aren't huge, like the new update or anything. Um, I had to... it actually takes quite a while to get... Um, to get a journey world all set so that you can do whatever you want in it. Um, I had to load up my old T mod loader save, which isn't compatible, it isn't in the new version. Um, so here we are digging, just looking for temple. Also that I can set up some practice fights against uh, the Moon Lord without like half an hour of downtime in between each failure. Can we find it, please? I don't think I've ever seen the temple this close to the edge of the map. That's not jungle anymore over there. Is that... is that an enchanted sword? I, I think it has to be, uh, like, a special room for that. Yeah, it's just a bit of rock. In the Don't Dig Up Seed, does Moon Lord spawn on the surface still? Uh, yeah, I mean, he'll follow you anywhere, but he'll, he'll certainly spawn on the surface, and that's where we're going to fight him. But given the increased difficulty from the environment, um, I definitely want to get a bit of practice in before we go for it again. Really don't want to have to do the pillars six times just to get it right. Hey, Evil Pla, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, okay, this is a bit far down for the temple, I think. Just, just a wee bit, probably. I mean, it could be right here, but I don't think it can be that small. I couldn't imagine that fight underground, it'd be so hard, yeah. Up we go. Did my potion wear off? Yep. Kind of searching somewhat aimlessly here. Um, I guess down to the left, and then if it's not there, we'll swing back up. I'm seeing things on the map that tell me it's definitely not in this area. I don't think the temple can be here. Let's go up this way. Up we go. I said up we go. You know that you can do better armor with the green ore? Yeah, um, I'm just gonna... This is just the gear that I was using to prove that you can kill uh, Duke Fishron with pre-hard mode gear except for, like, Crystal Storm. Uh, currently where monster spawns are set to zero, we've got uh, invulnerability on. We're just powering through to unlock uh, the final boss, and then we'll put some gear together, some pre-Moon Lord gear. Uh, and once we get killing him down pat so we can do it every time, or almost every time, 
we'll go back to the don't dig up save without cheats. How high have I gone? Pretty high, actually. Alright, let's go down to the right. Found it. Fantastic. Let's find the entrance. Up we go. And now we need temple key. Get this crap out of my inventory. Give me temple key. There we go. Could could you close? Close please. Why is it there we go. Okay. I need a better light source. Oh, I think I need to make sure I pick up some power cells. At least one. Yay, temple. Yeah, we got there eventually. At least it wasn't as bad as last time. Literally spent hours looking for the temple. Of course, it helps if we're powering through the jungle with god mode on. But still. Yep, yeah, wow, wow, that was a small temple. Is this a large world or what? Well, regardless. Uh, let's... I don't know why I'm bothering, of course of habit I guess, to set up the arena. Uh, we're just gonna face roll him. Not even bother to pretend like we're fighting him. Oh, you know what, we can... we can make believe. Let's practice dodging this stuff. He really isn't much of a problem if you sit on the ceiling. been a hit. Uh, I think at this point I would be using the bow. Never mind, he's dead. Alright, so pillars should be unlocked. Uh, let's go over there. Defeat the current threat? What? Why can't I use the pylon network? Defeat the current th threat... Is it... Does it have something to do with... What? It's not because I ran away from Plantera and it didn't understand that Plantera's gone. Comfortably lost. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, do I have a conch? Magic conch? I hope. Yeah, we do. Alright. Let's go to the ocean. And we'll head over to the dungeon this way. I've never thought to use Gravpot for this. Yeah, it's pretty powerful. Gravpot is honestly... OP asterisk uh, against certain bosses. Okay, can we get a mushroom pylon over here? Who knows when we'll be when we'll be able to use it again? But still, um, I don't see any cultists. We'd probably have to wait till morning or something. Let's get 
a little bit out of range and uh midnight dawn and see what's what was this here before i imagine it was i still see no cultists um we did just kill Gollum, right? I wonder if it has something to do with uh with it saying to defeat the current threat. Or maybe I should have been holding one of those items. Maybe if I opened the bag it would have triggered them. Or maybe we just have to wait longer. Um, let's go over here for a sec. I'm gonna put time on maximum speed. Oh, I know what it is. Um, monster spawners are probably set to zero. There we go. And now we have a goblin army. That's why it said defeat the current threat. Okay. Alright. Do I have infinite potion of returns? I do. I think we have to kill them because it seems like the cultists aren't going to spawn with them around. Or maybe we just have to wait for time of day. Either way. Is it good for Skeletron? Uh, is which good for Skeletron? Grav Potion. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, and it's strictly necessary if you want to kill the Dungeon Guardian without cheating. Um, to do that, you'll want a save that... You, you'll want to bring a character into a new... Uh, a new world that's already strong. But uh, he's actually got infinite defense, so no matter how much damage your attacks do, uh, you're only going to deal 1 to 2 damage, 2 if it's a crit. So you want the highest rate of fire weapon possible. Uh, and he'll kill you in one hit, no matter how, no matter how armored you are. Uh, so what you want is to be able to kite him, even though he's very, very fast. The only way to do that is to literally fall away from him. Um, did I not make this a player house? Uh, I'm sorry, an NPC house. Let's put, I don't know, the painter in here. And if I can get him to teleport in. Let's see, set time to dusk. And we should be able to have a mushroom pylon. Fantastic. All right, this is what we wanted. Let's delete Altist. May as well practice dodging his stuff, but I don't feel like fighting him for real. Where is he? Oh, it's the worm.
Would you die already? Oh, that would have been a mistake. Except the mistake is not knowing exactly when he casts that spell, even though he's off screen. Would you die already? I think that magic circle means the dragon worm is coming. So we want to try and get him on screen when he might be casting it so we can tell. That one. Here comes the worm. No? Yes. Okay. I think that is the pattern. I feel like he used to have a lot fewer hit points. Maybe I'm wrong. It isn't this the old version anyway? Whatever. All right, we got Ancient Manipulator, and we've got a bunch of pillars to remove. Um, so we're going to go with, I think we were going with uh, Ranger Gear to fight Moon Lord. I'll probably clear that one first. Is the worm new? I don't remember that attack. Uh, no, it's not new. Where are we? Oh yeah, this would also be a good opportunity to to see how these guys behave without getting killed for it. Oh, this isn't the new version though. Never mind. So I noticed they changed how... It used to be those shotgunners could only fire horizontally. They weren't much of a threat if you controlled your spacing, but they can fire at any angle now. Um, but I think it does a little charge up animation first. But yeah, the uh, vortex pillar a lot more dangerous than it used to be. I think this is still faster. I'm actually kind of surprised how low my DPS is here. Where's my... What is my button for number 8? I'll never know. One, two, three, four, five, six. Z is map. X, C, V, F. Okay. only halfway done on this pillar. This is how much time it takes when we don't have to worry about getting hit. 
I mean, I could have a bit more DPS, obviously, but still. This is exactly why we're setting up uh, the Journey World, so that we can spam practice against Moon Ward. Come to think of it, I don't think I'd kill Plantera on this save, so we don't have access to... Uh, what is it called? The Master Ninja Gear? So I'll have to go get that as well. Let's put together our pre-Moon Lord Ranger gear. So... I just need 25 of these to go infinite. Fantastic. Fragment. Go... get these out of my sight. And I think we need the Ancient Manipulator. There it is. In order to do anything with the Vortex Fragments. We make the Phantasm, we make the Vortex Beta. Uh, we re-roll both of those. May as well do that. We talk to... Uh, the goblin. We need to get some money. Platinum coin, fantastic. Oh, there we go. Unreal. Perfect. Let's put that in slot 3. Phantasm. Looking for Unreal. Looking for Unreal. It can have Unreal, right? I'm pretty sure it can. Yeah, damage, speed, crit. Wow, this is some pretty bad luck. Should have stopped it godly. How many rolls is this? A hundred? There we go. Unreal Phantasm. Um, and the Razorblade Typhoon can go here or something. Uh, then we need some Shroomite gear for the deeps. We've obviously got Shroomite. You can see it on the walls. Here we go. Uh, except the Shroomite gear is a little different now. Um, it was like bullet, arrow, and everything else, in, as opposed to rocket. That's not that different. Alright, we're gonna go with bullets for the boss fight. Can 
I'm going to use Chlorophyte Bullets because it sprays like crazy. This gun does. We also just don't want to have to focus on... Um, aiming while we're fighting the Moon Lord all that much. Uh, let's see. I need Venom uh, Arrows. Oh, I already have those. And, um, I just don't. Ha I just haven't made arrows out of them yet. Arrow and I think I need an anvil. There we go. And research. Where the hell did my arrows just go? Here they are. Alright, get out of here, Ecor. Venom arrow. Fantastic. What else do we have? Um, we're going to need a ranger emblem. And probably Avenger Emblem. All in on the deeps. More or less. Oh, I could have kept the warding one. That's fine. Menacing, please. There we go. Um, we need Master Ninja Gear. Well, we don't strictly need it, but I don't... Uh, the Shield of Cthulhu is very dependent on which boss fight it is, whether or not it's a good thing that it's a dash attack. You can use it to deflect Duke Fishron's charges, but on the other hand, if you dash into something that you're trying to get past, it can be a lot worse than getting hit. Um, let's see. Conch. Fantastic. Let's get into the dungeon. I don't think we'll be using the Stinger Necklace at this stage. Don't need Mana Flower. Not sure what else to put in. Probably Obsidian Shield? Or no, the upgraded version. I guess I don't have the upgraded version of, of the Obsidian Shield for this one. King Slime has awoken? Alright. Apparently we can get ectoplasm from King Slime. Fascinating. Uh, let's put these away for now. Ectoplasm we've already got. Oh, do I actually have the... Ninja gear? No. So we've got Black Belt. We've got Tabai, maybe. Uh, climbing... We've got all the uh, ingredients. I don't have to do this right now. Alright. Tabai. Yeah. And belt. Where's the table? There we go. Master Ninja Gear. Apparently we did already. No, nope, never mind. Research. Master Ninja Gear. Fantastic. Reroll to warding or menacing. That'll do. And 
and I think... Oh, I know. The, uh, regen. Do we not have, uh... What is it called? What? Philosopher's Stone. Apparently we don't. The heck is that? Jewel of Light. I think that's from, uh... Empress of Light. So apparently I don't have... Where's the guide? Are they both stuck here? Yep. They were doing... Th a couple of the NPCs were always doing that on my uh, Calamity save as well. Alright, uh, let me double check real quick. Charm of Myths. Philosopher's Stone. We do indeed not have Philosopher's Stone. I don't particularly want to go looking for Mimics just for that. Well, it'll be a little handicap, I guess. The training will be a little bit harder in some ways than the real thing. I kind of want warding on this thing. I guess it really doesn't matter. Uh, except that I want the stat bonuses that I have to be pretty similar uh, to what I have in the other save. It's like 50-50, or a little bit more menacing than warding, I guess. Um, and what type of wings doesn't really matter that much. I think this is pretty close. And now we just clear the other three pillars, make a bunch of super healing potions. And I'll be able to summon Moon Lord as many times as I like. use the bow just because it isn't quite so loud. see everything. There we go. God, I hate those things. Nebula floaters. Okay, it's driving me crazy how they bounce around like that. Just die faster, please.
I think this has actually become, uh... I think they made the nebula floaters less bad with the new patch. Kill it yet? Here we go. Fantastic. Alright, give me infinite nebula fragments. And on to the next one. Which is going to be the solar. Never finished building this house, apparently. spawn rate. And I'll speed things up a bit. Apparently it's already at maximum with the pillars. have difficult to aim at enemies in this place. Let's use the bow. I believe this is on the maximum spawn rate though. I wonder if it's because we're near NPCs? Now they're getting stuck over here. That's more what I was expecting. DPS we could possibly have right now, and no need to dodge, and maximum enemy spawn rate. Still takes minutes just to unlock the shield. I should just change the difficulty. Oh, we're almost there. Just a few more. Alright, where's the pillar? And 
fantastic. And I believe there's one more to go. Stardust. Wait, I need to pick this stuff up first. Uh, it would help if I had some inventory space. There we go. Off we go to the Stardust Pillar. Almost there. Here we go. Single out anything that's not a blob. heck was going on with that worm over there? Have I run out of potions? Yeah, I think I did. Okay. Where's the pillar? There it is. Oh yeah, I forgot, we wouldn't want to stand that close to it because those worm things will spawn on top of us. Almost there. Just a few more. And we start killing the pillar. Fantastic. Alright, let's make some... I need to make some room in my inventory first. Probably should have kept the conch. Oh well. Let's put these into here. Grab as many fragments as we please. And make some 
Big potions. I think I need the manipulator for this. Potion. Wait, I'm looking in the wrong menu. Uh, also, I need some of these. Three to go infinite. Uh, am I trying to build this in the wrong place? Do we need an alchemy table? Oh, we do need an alchemy table. Hello, Moon Lord. Alright. So... I'm surprised how long that took to sort out. Alright. So we should have everything we need to simulate our fight in the other save. Bat boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Quick Factorio SE question. Have you been able to place rocket silos in editor extensions? No. I'm getting an invalid launch pad location error. Yeah, any I think it's anything that could send stuff from one surface to another. You won't be able to place in that extra surface in editor extensions. Okay, um, what kind of potions do we have here? We got good food, hunter potions kind of irrelevant, uh, mining and flipper are pretty irrelevant, endurance, rage, uh, don't need danger sense, life force, grab, very important, light movement, regen, heal, uh, regen, armor, And even more Hunter Potions. Um, I'm probably forgetting a thing or two, but that's pretty close, I think. I was worried as Satellite Silo works, but no cargo rockets. The Satellite Silo makes sense, yeah, because it's, uh, like I said... Um, it doesn't send things across surfaces. Alright, so one thing to bear in mind is I'm pretty sure in this version uh, it's still 15 seconds between third eye super laser beams. So we'll do his next one at 6.15am. But with the Don't Dig Up Seed and or the new version, uh, it's actually 20 seconds, which threw me for a loop. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to set this up with the new version. Oh, no, it's 20 seconds now. There you go. Okay, well, that's good. That means practicing here is going gonna, is gonna to be a bit more valid. I don't know what other small differences there might be. Uh, but yeah, I should have started at the ocean. Whoops. Other ocean, please. Alright. So, here's how we do it. More or less. We wait for the beam. We go up and over. And after that, we need to lose altitude. Otherwise, we'll end up in space. Uh, it's not good if we can't see his third eye for the next beam. It's also not good if we're not timing it by looking at the clock. So that was 7.20. The next one's at 7.40. It's also good to try and knock out his hands and third eye at about the same time. Because once they pop, the eyes start chasing you, and it's a bit more difficult to dodge. Um, but if you have a lot of DPS, it's not that big of a deal. Next one should be in five seconds. Here we go. Easy enough. Uh, the more DPS you have, the less, uh, the shorter a time you need to be able to keep all this up. 
And once we haven't got rid of his third eye yet. Here we go. Uh, once we get rid of those first three segments, uh, as long as we maintain the correct distance, uh, the rest of it is kind of a victory lap. You gotta stay just far enough away that he won't teleport to us, and far enough that that circular beam thing doesn't catch us. Oh, that's not good. If I had a flipper potion, that would have been less dangerous. And of course there's the rhythm of all of his other little attacks, but they're not as important. You can kind of improvise those a little bit more. Uh, but especially in the first phase, the little shots that come out are rather fast. And you kind of need to know they're coming to begin with. Alright, so let's try it for real this time. Um, it doesn't really take too long to get the rhythm of it when you don't have to worry about dying. But it takes way too long to be able to attempt it again, normally. Uh, Sigil, is it? Yeah, Sigil. Um, I, I've never thought of this before, but I don't suppose there's a way to get those credits to leave the screen a bit sooner. Um, you know what? Let's grab Flipper Potions. For that one moment that was more dangerous than it needed to be. I'm not going to use Featherfall. Um, Heart Reach isn't going to help. There's a bunch of little things like Thorns that don't really matter. I'm also facing this without max health, um, but hey, that's just better practice, right? The Don't Dig Up Seed is going to be harder, but not for, like, stat point reasons. It's just the terrain that we have to deal with. Enjoy the Moon Lord crazy boss fight? Boss man fight? Indeed. Alright, um... I'll just get rid of these buffs, so we know we're starting them when we get there. Uh, ammo reservation doesn't really matter. Okay, for real this time. Oh, and I forgot how... Well, I don't really have a way to um, simulate this, shall we say. But on the Don't Dig Up Seed, we're going to be attacked by enemies like while we're trying to get this, the fight started. Um, I'd really like to start the boss fight on the left side of the map, though. With that map that we've got. Anyway, we'll just have to deal with that when we get there. Alright, so... What time is it? 12.09? I think he comes a minute later, but they changed it with the more recent version. Oh, and I need to turn off invulnerability. There we go. Um, we don't need 10 times monsters, not that I think it'll make a difference here. I should probably make it always nighttime, since that's what it's going to look like on our map seed. Although I don't think it looks that different during the day when you're fighting the Moon Lord. Okay, he should be here in a few seconds. Why does it still say 12 a.m.? Did I freeze time? Yeah, whoops. Up we go. Let 
need to be able to see is I don't go too high yet. Once it starts looking middle, go up. There we go. And that's uh, 1220. So the next one should be 1240. Feels weird fighting him with the victory music. Oh, good dodge. Even if I say so. And here comes the laser. So next one's uh, 1300. Gotta try and avoid any stars if I see them, because they'll be deadly on Don't Dig Up. Let's get the other hand down. Ow. I did leave it on Master Difficulty, right? Five seconds to beam. I think I've got the rhythm pretty well down already, to be honest. It's just having to go through so mu- Oh, we almost went to space. And I think we've got less room on the Don't Dig Up seed. That actually would have been a deadly mist. Ow! Ow! No, no, no! What? Stop it! I think I got him before he did his laser. So now we're on the victory lap. Ow! Let's not mess up the victory lap. If we can. Okay, so apparently this far away on the minimap, like 80% of the horizontal distance, is not far enough to avoid that sweeping beam. That's fun. Good to know, so I have to keep him, like, at the edge of the minimap. Oh, well, that's... there isn't, like, a standard level of zoom that I use, I guess. Oh, yes there is. I think it was kind of close to this. It was maybe zoomed in a bit more. I don't know. Let's try that again. Where's the conch? Alright, we're going to summon him on the 3 a.m. And come to think of it, I need to fix some buffs and stuff. So he should come in at 4am, I think. But I think they changed it for the new seed, or for the new version. Ten seconds. Here we go. About five seconds later, he does his first pair of shots at you. And we kind of want to stay kind of close to the ground until he's ready to beam, I guess. Although the terrain on Don't Dig Up is really horrific. We probably don't want to do that. Not actually touch the ground anyway. Few more seconds, up we go. Yeah, that wasn't a few more seconds. That was like two or three seconds early. Ouch. Ouch. Ouch again. I don't like it. Oh, I've messed up, I've messed up, I've messed up. Recovery. Fantastic. I need to hit the other hand. 
I really need to make a better habit of checking the time for his laser. Oh, that's not good. Let's get rid of his laser. That's actually the last thing left. Um, did I get it? Oh, I almost squeezed through that. Yeah, I did get it. But we're almost dead for the victory lap. Alright, I gotta stay about this far away. Just, just far enough that he doesn't, uh, teleport? Or just close enough that he doesn't teleport, rather? With a nice zigzag pattern, uh, to stochastically avoid projectiles and give us more space to dodge them. Uh, and if I see his hand, we're probably a little bit too close to the uh, big circular beams. Almost there. Fantastic. Alright. I think that was the first time we did it for realsies. Even though we almost did it the first time. I think this is the first time I bothered picking up the loot bags, actually. Piece of moon squid. Lovely. Finally, someone fighting Moon Lord, <laughs> indeed. Uh, M Mr. Stir, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we're gonna keep doing that until we can do it every time, or almost every time. Which at this rate won't be many attempts. Uh, it helps when you can just do it one try after the next, instead of having to wait. Alright, let's go with, I don't know, 7.40 a.m. So his beam attacks should be on the hour. Is World Difficulty Classic? Uh, no, it's set to... Where is it? Uh, it's set to Master. Oh, the world is Journey. Like, we've got cheat items, like anything we've found enough of, we can just duplicate. This is for practice. And then we're gonna jump into our Don't Dig Up Seed to finish off the Moon Lord. He should be coming in in a couple of seconds. Oops, already making mistakes. Here comes this laser. It's not that difficult to, to, to dodge when you know it's coming. Thank you, Master Ninja Gear, for the free dodge. And up we go. Next one in eight seconds. Oh, a little bit less than that. As long as I have the upward momentum... Oh. Oh. Lucky dodge. As long as I have the upward momentum when it starts, um, we should be fine. Usually. And now we need to lose altitude. 
Ouch. Wasn't watching. A few more seconds. I'm out of ammo. Whoops. Oh, crap. Well, we're still alive. Technically. Uh, I don't know where to aim. I can tell I'm not hitting because I'm using the Phantasm bow and it's not tracking. Oh, I went over his head already, didn't I? Oh, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead. It would help if I didn't run out of homing bullets. A couple of mistakes, but not enough to lose. Apart from the whole bullets thing. Whoops. Glorified bullets. Not gonna run out again. Where am I keeping my conch? Master, that's insane. Yeah, it's a little tricky. Whoops. So this beam is gonna be a couple of seconds after the usual timing. Um. So on the hour, and on the 20 seconds, on the 40 seconds, I want to be heading upward. But the general pattern is basically just kind of a zigzag wavy thing at relatively low altitude until he's about to do his beam. Uh, where is he? Uh, until he's about to do his beam, and then you head up to get over his head. Alright, here we go. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Ow. Once he opens his eye, we've got a few seconds. Ouch. Fantastic. Ouch. Taking a lot of little hits. Uh, I lost my track of time. We've got like four seconds, I think. Not as long as I thought, but as long as we have the upward... I guess it's as long as we have the upward momentum. The starting position isn't as important as I thought. Yep. Well, that gives us, that gives us a lot more freedom in where we could be at certain times. Oh, should have been already moving up before that shot. Oh crap. Oh crap. Right. Oh my god. Oh, uh, now he's teleporting to us. Did we get his eye? I think we're about to. Probably. If I didn't, we're dead, because I got the timing wrong. Alright, now we need to just keep our distance and dodge literally everything, and this would have been death on Don't Dig Up, Hitting Space. That was close. Ouch. Am I, like, shooting something when his, like, little tongue thing is coming at me? Looks like I am. Where is he? Oh, that's unfortunate. I could have dodged that as well. Really kind of messed up the distance and the rhythm for the end of that fight. 
Let's uh, try again. Alright, so... Four, three, two, three twenty. He's coming in at four twenty. We still got ammo. That's like half a stack. At that cost. Fifteen seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good timing. Oh, that was a bit silly changing direction at that moment. I should really try and focus the third eye down more. Oop. And here it comes. Kind of throwing this one a bit. Oh crap. Wait, that beam was like three seconds earlier than I thought it would be. Was it not? Try it again. And go. That's... why did I just... there we go. Make sure we don't run out of potions. Iron skin. Regen. Uh, light, because why not? That's a sonar potion. That's still a sonar potion. Swiftness. Alright, we got like three seconds, I think. No? Wait, when did I summon him? Rut row. This is impressive, I can't even kill Brain of Cthulhu, an expert. Uh, you just have to be prepared. And know the fight as well. I mean... Some fights are a lot more dependent on... Just the knowledge of the timing... Than actual mechanical skill. Like, I can't really... Oh crap, just like that. That was... I wasn't paying attention. Um, but those little double shots that come out of his hands and third eye, there's one double shot from his third eye before he does the big beam. Most of the time you can't actually dodge those by reaction. They're too fast and your character doesn't have that kind of maneuverability unless it's a double jump or something. So you literally just have to know approximately when he's going to do it so that you make sure he doesn't lead the target so you make sure that you're already falling or jumping you know moving laterally compared to him uh and there's like 17 things to try and keep track of like that with the moon lord but the most important one by far is just knowing exactly when he's going to fire his laser
it's literally the opposite of a boss fight that if you're just good enough, theoretically, you'll just win the first time. Duke Fishron is a lot more tough but fair, except that the uh, Sharknadoes end up being off screen and you kind of run into them. And then you've got a whole vague pattern that you try and keep him following so that you know approximately where the Sharknadoes are going to be. Okay, five seconds. Start with his third eye. I shouldn't have delayed my fall there. See, if you notice there, the mistake happens before I get hit. It's not like I can get out of the way at the last nanosecond if I'm just quick enough. Whoops. Oh, that was a mistake. Okay. Okay, one hit point. Let's go. <laughs> Next heal in 27 seconds. There it is. I should probably try learning the timing of his little hands. Let's go god mode this time. And we'll just dodge for a while. Ten oh five. I'm hoping there's a pattern for the timing for his hand shots that are easy to integrate into the timing for his laser. Like a consistent multiple or something. Okay, 10 seconds. All right, we're invincible. I forgot. I'm just going to dodge for a while. So, 11, 0, 3, 4, 5, 6. 11, 0, 6. And he fires his two laser things. Well, not lasers. He, he fires them four seconds later. And then 21 seconds. That's, uh... They're not consistent. Or at least they don't all have the same timing. They keep getting further apart. With the... The, the left hand is firing more frequently. Yeah. That's a pain. That means there's no consistent pattern to get into a groove of. To know when to dodge those. Like, right there, he hits me right after I dodge his beam. Here comes laser. Hurry up. Well, let's see the timing. So... Left hand at 37 seconds. Right hand a couple of seconds after that. The eye always does its thing right before it's gonna laser, so we know that one. 48 seconds. A couple of seconds after that. Fifty I think it's actually every ten seconds for the left hand, but the right hand 
I don't know if it's inconsistent or if it doesn't fire if it doesn't have line of sight sometimes. Also, does he always... I, I don't think I would want to fight him standing on the ground like this. Uh, but if I did, it seems like he always sweeps left to right with the laser. Sounds like the dolphin launcher in Crestorio. The dolphin launcher? What? Let's try this again. So he's plus five seconds for his usual for the usual timing. Invulnerability off. And laser. And lose the altitude. I should try not getting so close to that hand after I go uh, over the laser. I should always expect it to fire right after the laser. Oh, this isn't good. There we go. Space would be death. It's not good to go to space when you're fighting the Moon Lord normally. But it's doubly super bad in Don't Dig Up. Ow. I thought, uh... Okay. It's not good to be far away from him when he does that beam. More ground to cover. I was like still waiting for it as I knew I was getting too close to space. So I thought, what if I go up here and then... No, never mind. Alright, let's get the timing right this time. Four, three, two. So we'll come in at 40 seconds. First laser on the minute. It's an Easter egg in Crestorio. How's that work? seconds. How much ammo do we have? Plenty. And here we go. We go. I'm waiting way too long for his beam. I thought it was coming sooner. Okay. Literally just not knowing when it's happening is death. I can't believe how, how far that homing missile chased me. Oh. I thought that was going to hit. I think... I think we want bigger figure eights most of the time. Seems a good idea. Yeah. Big sweeping figure eights that are shaped and timed to his attacks. Here it comes. Okay, that was closer than I thought it would be. 
I think we're just down to the laser now. Eight seconds. Out. Yeah, I gotta be further away from those homing missiles. Oh, crap. Okay, that was smart. At the last nanosecond, that dodge. I set myself up with terrible stupidity, and then I fixed it at the last nanosecond. With a bit of good spatial reasoning. And that's gonna hit no matter what I do. Alright. But here we are in the victory lap. Keep our distance. Keep doing the zigzag in the air. Watch for projectiles. Watch the map. basically it. I wish I could find the spot I'm supposed to be attacking though. There we go. Oh, that's bad. It's not great having to go over his head. You never know when that beam is coming. Alright, and he's done ski. Feeling? Let's start it at 8.20 a.m. Let's say if we can kill him three times in a row, we might be ready. Thirty seconds. Where's our grab potion? I think it's already gone. Yeah, it is. So I guess it takes about three minutes to kill him. Here we go. Fantastic. And... Up we go. Not just yet. Never mind. Got too close to the hand. I should have done a bigger sweep. Bigger arc. A few more seconds for the beam. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm a bit too keen to get low after the beam. Uh, and that puts me in position to be hit by the hand. Don't necessarily want to do that. Five seconds to beam. Oh, that was not five seconds. What the hell? Let's get that second hand out of the way. And beam is coming in about three seconds. Yeah, it's actually like a couple of seconds early from my timer, but I once you see the third eye look straight ahead, you know it's coming in a couple of seconds. And... Oh crap. Oh crap. Alright, we're good. 
pretty sure I would have run out of room vertically on our Don't Dig Up map, though. Ow. Accidentally switched gravity twice there. Otherwise, I probably would have got out of range of the homing missiles. Oh, I got too far. That's fine, I guess. That's not fine. And you're done, Ski. Fantastic. How about one more? Thank you very much for the follow, Mr. Master. But must stir. I don't know how to pronounce it. And that's our free moon mode stuff. Fantastic. All right, let's see if we can do this one more time in a row, and maybe then we'll head back to don't dig up. Alright, so summon on 1300. He should show up at 2 p.m. And I guess I could refresh my buffs here. Okay, so at precisely 2 p.m. we want to dash to the right and flip gravity. And a few seconds later, switch gravity again, and then back again. That dodges the first pair of attacks. And then we want to be gaining altitude at 219. Oh, he did it at 18 seconds. I don't understand. So he's two seconds early. So 38, I think. Yep. And big archer, uh, big long sweeping motions. And be in position to be moving up in at 2:58 p.m. He he was a little bit earlier again. What? So maybe 15 seconds past, he'll do another laser? That was unfortunate. Alright, up we go. Ouch, ouch, ouch. At least the laser's not going to hit us. Get away from those. I can't remember the timing. I think we need to be up in the air now. Yep. And ouch. Alright, we're on the... God damn it. We're on the victory lap. Splat. And that hit me at the end of a dash as well. Literally nothing I could have done at the last moment. Okay. Okay. 
Let's go with 410. I got hit by those big eyes a couple of times, which I can usually avoid. Like, normally I don't even need to really dodge them. How did I end up in that position? Hello, dolphin. You might want to leave. Down we go. Already got hit. Up we go. Oh my god. This is just disaster dominoes already. Yeah. Everything was off time from the very start. p.m. Do we still have uh, potions? Yeah, I think so. Oh, I don't have wrath. Oh, that would probably help if I if I was doing 10% more damage. Uh, I think it's rage, actually. There we go. Uh, I can't close it. No, stop. There we go. Yeah, probably would have helped if I was doing that much more damage, getting rid of his most threatening parts. Although, it wouldn't have made a difference last time. And here we go. Ouch. Need to get up in the air. Here it comes. Here it comes, I said. Oh my god. It would be useful if we could actually see him... Like, if we didn't have to be far away enough that we can't see his eyes in order to be able to dodge his stuff. I'm getting a little fatigued with this. summon him 10 seconds past oh a purple moon I wonder if that's because moon lord is coming all right here we go Oh, 
Come on. Five more seconds. That was not five more seconds. Did they add RNG to his laser timing? Next one should be like 47 seconds past the hour. About three seconds from now. There it is. And yeah, we're just... We're getting into the perfectly wrong time and place every time with those eyes coming up with the laser. I actually think the first, like, four seconds of the fight are extremely important, and I keep moving wrong now. Um, the way I was starting the fight before... Going to a certain height and changing direction X seconds in, and the first few shots miss at a certain angle, uh, and then I change direction X seconds after that. It, it all just leads into a pattern whereby we don't, for example, run into the giant eyes right, right after the laser beam. Alright. Let's go. Once more. So I think it's, uh... Into the air and start falling just before the first two shots, right? seconds. And into the air. And down. And up. Down. Oh, that's bad. Laser beam. And down we go. That's a bit better, I guess. Now I've lost track of time. I need to see his eye. It's getting ready. There we go. I, I had to go left to dodge the eye. How is it before I never had those eyes that I had to dodge while avoiding the big laser? Or they were just in a position that I didn't even have to notice them. And now they're there every time on the third, on the second laser. Alright, on the 20 minutes. Stand around for a whole minute. Should probably get some more ammo. I'll be here in twenty five. seconds. A 
That's good. Good start. I think, um... I think in the initial few fights, I wasn't as fast getting straight up into the air. And ironically, as I got more... more comfortable, more used to it, better at it, I started doing that part preemptively, which actually is not that helpful. So I need to take a little bit more time, like one or two more seconds at the very start of the fight, to get up into the air. Here we go with the beam. Fantastic. Try not to get killed by all the little things. I couldn't dodge that, really. Why can't I move? Oh my god, oh my, the angles. Serious? Even with the uh, journey mode, where I can just keep doing this as much as I like, I, I still find the downtime between the fights a little frustrating. If I had, like, literally, like, a save state on an emulator, where I could just instantly go back, I could actually get good at this literally ten times faster. Alright. Come in at 5.20 or 5.21. Maybe I should go back to... Practicing dodging his stuff with invulnerability on for a minute. I mean, I thought I had it down after the first... First run or two. And then just the timing of everything changed a little bit. So if anything, I sort of, I don't know, need to take my time. Do everything a little bit slower. Alright, here we go. Seems good so far. Seems very good so far. Excellent. Cleared the first hurdle with no mistakes. I messed that up. He's about to fire. Oh, come on. I saw his double shot from his eye, uh, from his third eye, counted the seconds, and he still delayed it. There's got to be some variance built in. Alright, 30 seconds passed. I should probably keep him closer after getting over the first beam so I can see what he's doing. Really got to keep track of the clock as well. Random randomization of the dynamic RNG. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how... Like, I keep summoning him on exactly 20 seconds past, for example. And sometimes we just get him doing his beam like 2 or 3 seconds early.
Oh, that's bad. Here comes the laser soon. And that wasn't quite right, but I think it was... Part of it was executed poorly, but I think using the wings to fall slower at that moment is actually a good idea. Those freaking eyes. How? How have I never had a problem with getting trapped between that beam and those eyes in the first, like, seven attempts, and then they're there every time? Maybe the first few times I was further away? I can also use the wings while falling upside down to slow my descent a little to control it. I can't remember when I summoned him. It was probably 40 seconds? No, I think it was 30. No, I think it was 40. I think when you start seeing it go black, you've got like 15 seconds. Yeah, here we go. Why did I end up on top of the hand? Laser. The wings were too strong there. I need to get a little closer to him so I can see what he's doing. Oh, come on. I'm gonna run out of space. There's nothing I can do. Oh. I've got no health though. There's audio cues for those shots I should listen for. His hand is already gone on the right. Beam is coming. If I could get a heal, that would be great. Let's get rid of the left hand. I oh, I dodged into it. There's a heal. A bit late now. I beam should be coming shortly. There it is, kind of. Oh my... I literally have to wait there for the laser, and then that eye rushes exactly where I need to sit. I think there was basically some luck in the first few attempts where I just happened to carve out almost exactly the right path to control his projectiles that made it easier. Because so very often you just get trapped between two things that you have to dodge. Unless you know the golden path all the way through it, which is what we're trying to figure out. It can make the, uh, it can make the apparent difficulty fluctuate a lot. need to try and focus on killing his third eye quicker as well.
Okay, yeah, I really have to make sure I dash early. Otherwise, I'm going straight into that hand. Here it comes. Perfect. And then we let him catch up a little bit. Not that much, perhaps. I beam should be now. That was surprisingly slow. I think, if anything, it's actually best to be down below him, but with a lot of upward momentum when he starts his laser. Here it comes. I can't dodge that. I was watching over on the left side of the uh, screen trying to keep track of god knows how many different things. Mostly his laser, and then I look closer to the center, it's like, oh, the five eyes of doom have trapped me. Uh, now, we've gone through 20 attempts. Uh, the first two or three, I thought, okay, cool, we've got this down pat almost, let's just iron out the bugs. So very, very important to dash, like, right before he spawns. Otherwise I'm going to run into that hand. Dash and get into the air, but don't get into the air so fast. It has to be like the first attempt. I forgot when he's coming. Must be 20 past. Alright. Dash up. Drop. That left, I mean up. There we go. Down below. Wait for the eyes. And up we go. Down a bit, up a bit, laser, laser. Can't get around that damn hand. And I'm gonna run out of health. Everything's off balance. When is he? Waiting 600 years for that laser that time. Although it was on 4 o'clock, I guess that's my bad. So, somewhere along the way... The whole... Timing of the dance after the first laser just got completely messed up. Do it on 40 seconds. This one minute delay is not helping. Check out ammo. Seems good. 15 seconds. A Doom minion. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You can use the Rod of Discord. We don't have it. I don't have it on my main... Uh, on the save that I'm practicing for. And it could take literally hours to obtain. So we're not... we're not using it.
I couldn't climb fast enough to dodge that, even though I saw it coming a mile away. And that, that one, the left hand catches me every single time. Like, it's kind of lucky if I dodge it. Here comes the next laser. And straight into the eye, unavoidably. Oh, could you stop? Holy... They're always in position to be exactly where I need to be to control the biggest threat. Maybe I need to do more of a zigzag, I think. I think I was doing a lot more zigzagging at the start. I was also taking a few more minor hits, but I wasn't getting caught by the big problems, for the most part. Alright, five seconds. go, up we go, good, keep zigzagging, watch that timer, oh, do those actually lead the target, if, just the possibility of that, when the beam is three seconds early, what, the beam is three seconds early, I don't know what to say to that. Samotka? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I I don't know... I don't know what to do about that. Literally just three seconds early. Like, literally in the exact moments that I should have been setting up to avoid the beam, it just... it just came out with no warning. I don't know what to do about that. I guess I have to be moving upward a few seconds early every time, which means I'm going to keep running into space, which is a much bigger problem on the Don't Dig Up seed. We don't have this much space, I don't think, for starters. Not to mention the whole space kills you instantly, and Gravity seems to be lower everywhere, which is a problem. He's right on time, 10 p.m. Which means his first laser should be at 10.20. Nope. 1017. It came out early again. Here it comes. Good dodge. Right hand is going to be down in a moment. I need him to catch up to me. I 
need to know when he's lasering two seconds. That was not two seconds. It's more like three to four seconds after we see the double shot from his third eye. Um, what is not helping is the mini beams. So now I have to keep my distance and time all this stuff. And we're lucky. Alright, hopefully we can get the eye down before the next laser. Here it comes. I don't think we can. Oh, we did. I shouldn't have... Okay, okay, okay. It's the victory lap if I can just get in position. I think we got this. Now I need to get over him because we're running out of space. I think I saw the mini beam a few seconds ago, so we should be safe. We just keep our distance and zigzag to victory. Don't go too far or he'll teleport to us, possibly when doing the beam. Bear in mind on the don't dig up seed, I'm gonna have to be doing all of this while watching uh Watching my height above the surface doesn't get too high as well. I think we got him. The hardest part of the uh, fight really doesn't last that long, but it takes so little to die. I was here. De Curti. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, I guess... I guess it's time. We're gonna try... on our actual save. I don't think I'm gonna get that much sharper... by... doing the vanilla version... a few more times. Congrats, thank you. We already got him a few times today, but... Now for the real challenge. We have to pull this off on the Don't Dig Up seed. Where we've got... a black sky all the time. Significantly less uh, space up here, I think. Um, falling stars that kill us in one hit. Loads of corruption enemies spawning while we wait for the Moon Lord to show up. And I think gravity is lower as well. And if we touch the top of the map, we die instantly. But first... Uh, first, I believe we have to do the bloody pillars again. Because we don't have enough fragments uh, to summon him. So, let's do that. Where are my summons? Uh, also I got a snowman cannon. Let's, uh, let's buy some rockets. I need someone to move in with the cyborg. So that we can have the mushroom pylon. And let's just review the items I've got. Yeah, more or less the same as what I was just using. Some slight upgrades. Alright, where's the house? Up here. That pet is bothering me. Can I get through here? There we go. And up we go. It 
Let's make another little house here. Whoops. Did not mean to waste that ammo. left out room for the pylon here. How about we just put it up here? And can we then just put mushroom wall? suitable. Truffle goes here, and in about four minutes he should teleport over here. Can I sell you something? Yes. Uh, please to be giving me ammo for rockets. Which one's a material? Rocket one is not a material. I think we have to wait till night time before he says, uh, sells us Rocket 3. Allows the wearer to see through their drone camera. What? That can't be a, an actual thing, surely. It's just cosmetic? No, it doesn't say it's just vanity. How... What? How does this work? Chunky fish run RC systems. Quad racer drone. Okay, here we go. Rotate left, right to steer and press up to accelerate. The first rule of fight club? What? What? Oh, okay. Oh. This is... This is very... Strange to control. It's rather difficult in this small space. But yes, apparently we can fly it around. Apparently we can't get it down through a platform. Oh, there we go. Um, okay. How about we put a door here? I think I got rid of all the mushrooms, actually. Uh, let me just sell... Wait, where did you go? Sell you this crap. And... I need a mushroom. Or ten. And we need a door. Which no doubt you'll keep opening to get yourself killed. Uh, what's the time? 6 p.m. We need one more minute. So let's try this again. I can launch a drone? I can't move around like normal while it's out. I can blow it up, I guess. And if I don't have the accessory, the camera doesn't follow it. Okay. Can it go through a door? Doesn't seem like it. Is there some way I could leave the door closed? Don't, don't think I can. Wait. Open. Launch. 
and then close door. There we go. How far can I go with this thing? There's a truffle worm. Oh, okay, okay. It's pretty difficult. So I guess that's it. I do want to see how far I can go. Doesn't seem to be a limit. Can't go that way. This is very tricky to control. Very sensitive. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna take a wild guess and say indefinitely. I never passed through hard mode Mechai and Dean. It's a bit dangerous. Um, I kind of want to go to the surface and play with this thing now. Don't know why the tax collector moved up there. Also, if I move away from here, Ruffle will teleport back. Fantastic. And should sell us the mushroom pylon. There we go. Oh, I know where I can go. If we go... Don't get hit by a star. All the way over to the right side of the screen at the surface of the ocean. Uh, nothing can actually spawn because the land isn't close enough. Something spawned. Might have already been there. Anyway, let's try flying this thing around. It's a hell of a lot easier to fly out in the open, that's for sure. I wonder if it'll explode if we go to space. Yes, it will. And we got an achievement for that. That's cool. I can't actually see how high up it is because the depth meter is reporting my player character's position, not the drone. Uh, so until... Yeah, until we hit the top of the map like that, I can't actually tell if we're about to explode. It's a pity they give this to you in hard mode. It'd be very nice while looking for Sky Islands. Okay. That's probably enough of that. Let's not die to a falling star. Um, just sell this for now. Always buy another one. And... Don't really care for this. Don't need another one of these. Why don't we quick stack? Don't care about this. Coal. Uh, and I meant to buy rockets, that's why I was getting this pylon together as well. So we can come here anytime. Rocket 3, material, fantastic. Uh, I need to re-roll the snowman cannon as well. I'm going to think of it, I'm not sure why I'm bothering, because we're not going to use it against Moon Lord. But it is one of my favorite weapons. At this rate, we're not going to get a good roll. Before we run out of money. Demonic? That's okay. Uh, but yeah, it shoots homing missiles that can't hurt you. Very, very nice. Alright. We're going to need a bunch of chlorophyte bullets. 3k is pretty good, actually. 
We're going to need buff potions. You know what? Why settle for 3k when we can have more than 3k? How much uh, mud do we have? 20... 2.9k. Fantastic. I'll be taking that. And this. And at least one more. Oops. do we have now? 61. Should be enough to make a few good bullets. Uh, where did I put the bullets? Never remember this. Every time I have to go buy a bullet, a musket ball, see where it quick stacks to. Over here. Thought it was further to the left. Is it in the piggy bank? It is in the piggy bank. Alright. Bullets. And quick stack. Now we have 3.8k. I think we're as ready as we're gonna be. Uh, is what I would say if we had some regen. Are there really no mushrooms? I guess we're gonna have to farm some up. Uh, we're just gonna have to look for them because it's not like we can actually farm them. They don't get discovered by Spelunker potions, right? Mushrooms don't. That's not a mushroom. Oh, we can also find them in the hallow. There's one. Gimme. And there's another. Fantastic. Not a whole lot of grass over here. Mushrooms. Where are you? This is actually... How many have I got? Four? I've got four. This is a bit silly how hard they are to find when you need them. Normally, you can hardly avoid having enough mushrooms, but this seed is a little bit different. Devil's Dandruff. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Hope you're well. Thank you. Alright, we got how many? We got nine mushrooms. That'll do. The Spirit of Christmas fades. Rip, Spirit of Christmas. I think that was because we did the snowman event. Alright, regen pots. Uh, that was a good haul. Iron skin. Uh, shine doesn't matter that much, but I'd like to top up anyway. I just ran out of something. What was it? Don't tell me it was Blink Root. 
No? Oh, it was actually day bloom. What time is it? 5 a.m. Perfect. Can we use the axe of regrowth for this? I think that'll probably be enough. I have a feeling it'll be enough. I am well, thanks for asking. Fantastic. And may as well plant the blink root. in here. Uh, what were we doing? Shine pots, night owl, swiftness. We got plenty of wrath, plenty of grav. Magic power and mana aren't really going to do anything right now. We need endurance potions, so we have a bit of a better chance. That means I have to fish again. Ravna. Let's talk to the angler. Caught in desert. May as well. I don't know if we can catch a uh, armored cave in here, actually. Well, the quest is done. There we go. I know we can catch armored cave fish here, uh, but we can also catch some better stuff. Well, not better, but other good things if we fish in the hollow at the same time. Like Prismite. Well, really, Prismite is all I care about here. Other than the armored cave fish. Oh, I have no bait? I must have quick stacked it. There we go. Um, okay, fish, please. It's literally all I'm looking for here. Why don't we use fishing potions and our potion? We don't have to waste our time on Bess. Um, okay, fish. Not princess fish, armored cave fish. Not bass, armored cave fish. That's the princess fish again. Would you stop with the not armored cave fish? We throw crate, I guess I'll take it. Again with the princess fish. Uh, 
I'm literally just looking for one armored cave fish here. I'll just double check if it didn't put... No, we're definitely out of endurance potions. Lady of the La Oh, it's that painting. Armored cave fish! We did it! Alright. Please give me more than one endurance potion. Oh, what the... Okay. I'll take it. Seven endurance potions instead of one. From the RNG with the... Uh, Alchemy table. Could use that kind of luck in other places as well. Wait, why did you get extra? Uh, the alchemy table. 33% chance to not consume potion crafting ingredients. And that's not... That wasn't like one in three six times in a row. It's even less likely than that. Because I'm pretty sure... Like, okay, let's make a shine potion. I think it's just these three. Yeah, bottled water, daybloom, glowing mushroom. Uh, I think each time you make an ingredient, uh, make a potion, uh, you might save one ingredient. No, it looks like each different ingredient gets a 33% chance to not be consumed. So these three right here. Anytime you see the number doesn't go down, uh, that's because of the 33% chance. So when I made a bunch of endurance potions just now, what happened was... Wait, why am I still... There we go. Uh, I, I had exactly one... Yeah, I think it was one in three six times in a row. So one in three and three and three and three. Um, we've got pr practically infinite brink, uh, blink root and bottled water. The armored cave fish didn't get consumed six times. Also, hi indeed, damsel. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, hope. I hope you will get to see how to beat Moon Lord as opposed to how to die horribly to Moon Lord shortly. Let's see. Um, apparently those are all of the life force potions I have as well. So we've got Grav. Don't care about magic right now. Uh, regen, armor, endurance, swiftness, damage, light, life total, and I could use archery, but I, I'm not actually going to use bows here. Hunter won't do anything. Thorns, I guess. Who cares? Um, we need food. Where's my food? I've got a few burgers. I thought I had some bacon. It's a bit of a pain to get it, but it basically just costs money. But yeah, we've got 8 minutes major improvements to stats. Um, where is... Oh no. Where is my magic mirror? Seriously? Where... Did we lose another one? Well, I hope so. <laughs> Indeed. How did I... What happened to my magic mirror? It should be right here. Or, no, or like, here, actually. And that was a, an ice mirror because I lost the magic mirror somehow. Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. 
What the hell? I really wish favorited items wouldn't get dropped like that. Okay. I think we're about as ready as we're going to be. I'm going to take a little drink. Try and prepare myself. Oh, wait. I think I need to do the pillars first. Well, regardless, I'm going to hydrate. Give me a moment. Okay, time to do the pillars again. Uh, I don't particularly want to spend all of my most expensive buff potions on it. Be a little selective. That said, I need to kill the cultist first. Don't want to underestimate him. Uh, we'll probably go for all of this. I need some bacon as well. Yeah, I don't want to consume these burgers. If, uh, if we need the food buff for ages, let's get some bacon. Give to me all of your pig granatas, please. That is not a lot of pig granatas. Um, where can I put them? Oh, I forgot. I need the diamond pickaxe for this. Not pickaxe. Diamond pickaxe would be cool. But what I meant was diamond hook. Because it's only the single hooks that work like this. There we go. Please get more than one bacon. Nope. One bacon it is. Alright. Sell this other stuff. That gives us 24 minutes at least. And I guess let's head up to the surface. Light, regen, armor. I think I accidentally dropped a potion here. Oh. Ouch. I forgot how nasty it is up here. I mean, I knew it was nasty, that's why I was preparing like this, but still. to the dungeon. Not too far. Oh, I totally forgot I have a way to teleport to the dungeon. Whoops. Okay. Away we go. Why is it not... Why is my homing missile not homing? Not happy, Jan. Alright. Grab potion, and bullets, and go. It's actually dying pretty quickly this time. That could have killed me. Where is he? That's going to be the dragon. We have to do some stochastic dodging here. That's not stochastic dodging. Homing rockets. Actually, I should be using homing rockets on this guy. It's the perfect, cheap, but good enough, easy to use weapon. 
I can save my homing bullets for Moon Lord. Also, the rockets are actually good against uh, the worm enemy. What am I? What? What's hitting me? What? Don't spawn on top of me. It's rude. I don't know where I got this pet either. I think I already got the dragon out of the way. Much more relaxing knowing I'm only burning money on the ammo. Not having to farm up chlorophyte again. Would probably help if I was using the right helmet for the job though. I'm not getting the full damage buff out of this one. Probably take a moment to swap my helmets while we're at it. Uh, I'm not keeping it in here, am I? Oh, it's over here. The everything else damage buffed uh, buffer. Everything. It's either bullets, arrows, or everything else now, which I think is better than how it used to work. Alright, up we go. Try not to get teleported behind. At least this pillar doesn't attack directly. Ow, ow, what the hell hit me? Effective. Oh, I forgot to activate the bacon. Where is the bacon in my inventory? I didn't quick stack it away somewhere, did I? No, I, I did. I did eat the bacon. We're good. we don't mess up or get unlucky. Still another 65 enemies to go though and that's just one pillar out war. Let's 
Oh god. I forgot again to be terrified of stars. I had it down last week. I instinctively knew stars were dangerous. But now it's back to the old stars are friends uh, instincts. And rip our bacon. Okay, uh, let's sell some stuff. And should probably hold on to the banner. Tablet fragment. It's a it's a cute pet, but it's very extra. Like it's a lot on the screen. Glad I didn't use any. No, I used my buffs at some point. I wasted so many potions. Uh, okay. Should really put these away when I'm not using them. That way I can just press B as a panic button all the time. Uh, how much money do I have? 11 gold? That's like nothing, as far as getting bacon is concerned. I haven't even killed the first pillar yet. Should I just do it with... I don't... I, w I won't do it without food. I'll do it with less expensive food. Oh, we've got some barbecue ribs here. Alright, we'll take it. Rather than leaving those lying around for eternity. Let's get our buffs. Back we go. Can't believe I got clapped by a star again. It's pretty unlikely even if you're not trying to avoid it. star. And another star. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this at night. Or do the stars still come? I can't remember. I think probably the stars don't come during the day. Ow, ow, ow. That was a falling star. It's 5 a.m. So it's never safe up here. Well, never safe from random one-hit kill falling stars specifically. Of course it's never safe. shiny stone. And 
back to full health. In we go. Oh, we can hit the pillar. I don't know how long that's been the case. How embarrassing. There we go. Would you die, please? There we go. Fantastic. And I need room to grab the fragments. Guess I'll drop the deathweed as opposed to the seeds. And which one do I want to do last? Whoa, 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 whoa. Rude. Uh probably the stardust. Let's have a head over and do the solar pillar. That was close. Where are we going? Uh, that water might be helpful. Stand on top of it. I wonder if it counts as being in the air as far as the uh, uh, crawlipedes are concerned. I guess we're not going to be close enough to find out. Oh, yep, 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 nope, stop it. Oh my god. Okay, so standing on top of water counts as being in the air as far as crawlipedes are concerned. That's good information. Okay. Good to know. Oh, okay, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. That's probably the worst place possible to approach that from. Uh, I think we should go to the top of the temple instead. to attack the solar pillar. Alright, back we go. No, let's wait for full health. That would be a lot more sensible. And I kind of want to fly over it, as far as I can. Maybe I should just use a grab potion. Seems like a good idea, actually. Okay, now they're spawning up here. That's not what I want to see, because Crawlipede. That's exactly why. Okay, this is not ideal either. The uh, the point at which the enemies start spawning, it starts being the uh, solar pillar, is actually very awkward on both sides. Good. 
The spot might be ridiculously good. Actually getting the value out of the damage buff for standing still. I think we found a good spot to fight the uh, solar pillar. Ow. Jesus, that, that hit me for more than three quarters of my health. Just when I thought I disengaged, uh, disengaged from the Crawlipede, I think I passed like this point right here where my altitude technically went up relative to the ground, and then it attacked me again. That's nice. Uh, let's waste another million buff potions and get back to it. Wait, let me get the other buffs first. Is that? Oh, it's one of the pets. Slime princess or something. Oh yeah, I forgot about the hover mode in this, but it doesn't last. Not unless we have the soaring insignia. Which, good luck getting that on this planet. Let's get back in our spot if we can. Even if... Oh my god, I can't see anything for the map. Oh my... I literally can't see what's hitting me. Seven to go. Let's regen a bit. almost. Just gotta kill one more thing. And we're allowed to kill the pillar now. Yeah. 
Fantastic. Alright, so where are we going next? Vortex? How many more rockets do I have? 8,000? That seems okay. Oh wow. I knew the rockets would be decent against uh, the wyverns, but I didn't expect it to kill it in like five shots. Alright, away we go. Can I? Oh my god. Grab potion. Why you gotta wear off on me like that? was a bit dangerous. Ow. Ow. Now I'm stuck. Okay. Alright. Okay. Can I leave now, please? Thank you. We've got nebula fragments, solar fragments. Uh, we need stardust to be able to summon. Not that we really want to do that just yet. I don't think I would like to summon the moon lord while the pillars are still up, regardless. just appear in the sky right behind me, pretty much. Oh, okay. Get punished for flying fast. Almost ran out of space. One of those pillars that can spawn things right next to you. I'll watch out for that. Still don't know how those lightning attacks work. No. Only eight seconds left of grav. still. Oh my god. Are you serious right now? The burst?
30 seconds until I can use a potion. Alright, back we go. And just immediately bump right into... Okay, cool. I was trying to teleport as well. Yeah, don't give me two milliseconds of invuln coming out of the portal or anything. That was ridiculous. Uh, now I have to travel all the way back there as well. Stuck stuff away. I've run out of food as well. We got pizza. It's only eight minutes of buffs. Yeah, I'm really going to have to fly all the way from the shore again. And I wouldn't even call it a mistake just now. It was just go through teleporter. There's an enemy the millisecond I go through that's right on top of me. And there's also two more of those shotgunners with their guns already charged up. The mistake was using the portal. Which shouldn't be a mistake. further is it? About 17,000 more dashes apparently. Oh, we're almost there. I, sh I really should just use the most cowardly tactics possible against these pillars. Could you not snipe me with a shotgun? Really not a fan of the way they changed that enemy. basically have to keep him off screen. Yep, and silly me, I went low enough for enemies to spawn. Alright, three to go.
This probably used to be the easiest pillar. Like, not really any contest. And they, then they made it so that one enemy just snipes you with a shotgun. Fragments, fantastic. Let's double check, I can't really do anything with them yet. No, we need the Stardust. And the moment I pop the pillar, I have to come back here. Uh, let's grab our buff items that we're going to use just for Moon Lord and put them in a chest. I think it's really just these two. Flipper potion couldn't hurt in case we dip our toes in. And that's going to go in here. And this one. And I'll make sure we have the food. Pizza works. And probably go to dungeon to get there easy. Okay. Got another 25 seconds of grav. Anti-grav. enough to get there, but it helps. Up we go. So which pillar is it? The Stardust. We just have to stay away from the pillar itself and those uh, worm things, so they don't spawn literally on top of us. The only trouble with these um, Sharknadoes is they keep making projectiles that I think I have to dodge. is on my face. Don't want to die to that falling star. I don't necessarily have to take to the skies over here.
This is actually pretty good terrain for this one. to go. I think I'll leave that bunch down there. Can't really reach them. And they're reducing the rate that enemies come at me all the time. Last lot before the Moon Lord. After we clear the pillars, we'll be able to attempt him at least like four or five times though, before having to do it again. I really can't get in there. I'd be just as happy not to, except the spawns have actually stopped. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What was that for? Just 20 to go. Can we get rid of this pet? It's not in my inventory, is it? I don't think so. Oh, and I still have a slime crown here, for some reason. I can't remember why we were going to kill King Slime a bunch of times. Probably at the end of last stream, last week, for Terraria. Triple Worm? Oh, thank you. What is that? Oh. Those star things turn into worms. Oh my god. Jeez. Just almost clapped out of nowhere. Thought that was going to be a different sound? Like, what did you have in mind? Oh yeah, I do have magic missile still. Probably should have used a potion of return there. Okay. I'm going to get the uh, Stardust Pillar down to low health and not finish it off so that I can actually take my time and think through what needs to be done. Uh, but for now, I guess I have to teleport back up there. I should really make a teleporter at, like, the middle top point of the map. I think if I play this seat again, I'll do more of a teleport network. The R uh, meme sound? Oh, I mean. 
this now. We got three minutes left on our food. Calm down for a sec. That's going to be a nuisance. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Those cells. Should have left one of them alive to reproduce. Alright, let's try this again. We've actually got the pillar vulnerable already. And a worm spawns right in my face. Cool, that's fair. Four point three K left. Permit? Oh, the meme. Right, so we need... well, we're gonna need food. Let me have a look at this. What the heck is that? Nope. No, we're not playing that sound on stream. Okay. Uh, let's get our Moonlord buffs. And... Steal ourselves for what's to come. We've got 3.7k bullets, life force, endurance, grav, iron skin, regen, shine, night owl, swiftness, wrath, and change that to bullet damage. Uh, major improvements to stats. Super healing potions, all of our boss fight gear. We want to pop in here, kill the pillar, uh, probably teleport to this ocean. Clear it as quickly as possible, stand over here so that nothing else spawns, and wait for Moonlord to... Well... I'd really prefer to start the fight on the opposite side of the map, though. But over here, we're going to get corruption enemies spawning. So I should probably just come back. I think it's... what the... I think it's still one minute after killing the pillars before he spawns. And they might have changed the spawning item. So we'll come back here to get our bearings first. 
Okay. Begin. Where's the damn pillar? Oh my god, I can't even get 4k damage on it before another one of those spawns in my face. check what time I killed it. I think it was about 5.50pm ish. Call it 45 just to be safe. We've already consumed our buff potions. That's bad. I want to stand here before using the conch so we know for sure which ocean it's going to send us to. At about 6.40 I'll teleport over there. And now he spawns. Right at 6.40 so we know 7pm should be his first laser. need to go up now. The low grab is pretty scary. Now we need to lose altitude. We're way too high. Seven twenty should be his next laser. It's coming in about three seconds. Less than that. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That was why can't I fall faster? Why is gravity so low? Oh, I can't. At the spacing, everything is wrong. Beam is coming in a second. Okay, we're still in it. It's so hard. It's so much harder to dodge with the lower gravity. Laser? Yep. So far so good. Well, not really. Oh god. I just had too much upward momentum from dodging the laser. Dead to space. Being that much more floaty, it is way harder to dodge his projectiles, like just all of them. But I really thought I was... The, the way that my timing and positioning, which required a bit of improv there to avoid that laser, I thought that was perfect. And then just drifted ever so slightly too high, completely unavoidably. There was literally nothing to be done, like, in the last seven seconds or something. I didn't know I was already dead. <sighs> Alright. How many times can we summon him before we have to do the damn pillars again? Only four. That's pretty bad. I also need to fish up potions. Uh, we need to do some fishing for prismite. It would be nice if we can get some uh, some cave fish while we're at it. Let's get our minions out. I forgot to get my buffs. Fishing potion? Oh, 
Oh, I have no bait. Prismite, that's what we're looking for. That's bass is not what we're looking for. That laser is making it hard to concentrate on fishing. It would definitely be easier if we had double minions. I think it's doable, it's just that much harder because of the deadly space and low gravity. The left side of the map would still appear to be the best place to fight him. Hey Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. I really need to concentrate on losing altitude every opportunity I get. Why am I picking up these other fish that I don't need? We got the prismite already. Well, I'd like to get four, so I, I at least have one potion for each attempt if I have to try four times. There we go. All right, regen, uh, life force, and that's pretty much it. I guess. Now there's one small problem, and that is I don't know how many seconds I have before Moonlord shows up after I use the Celestial Sigil. Because I don't think it's a minute anymore. How many bullets we have left? 3.4k, seems good. Let's go to Ocean West, I mean East. Alright, at 2am I'll trigger the sigil, and we'll see when he shows up. We don't need the fishing buffs. Twelve seconds? Okay, that's not what I was expecting. Should be lasering soon. No, nope. I think we're dead now. Okay, that was a good improv. Oh, he teleported? Okay, about five seconds till he uses laser, I think. Good. Worth taking that bit of damage. This is not good terrain. Wait for the eye to show up. Still can't see it. Oh, here it comes. Yeah, I was literally just trying to get the eye on the screen. So I could see when it would come. Next one should be about 32 seconds. 
About 10 from now. Oh, I'm so stuck. Oh, that was lucky. I think we can kill the eye before it does a uh, beam again. Probably. Yep. What? Could you stop? No, no, no. Let me. Let me leave. Jeez. Oh God. I'm. Why am? Why can't I switch to the weapon I want? Okay. All right. We're theoretically on the victory lap. We just have to not get caught by space or something. Keep him at about the same distance. That's not the distance we're looking for, where he'll teleport to us. About here. Where we can avoid his projectiles, avoid his circular beam, most importantly, and keep him from teleporting to us. Okay, okay, okay. I think we got this. How high am I? 500? That's okay. Gotta keep an eye on that as well. Get away before he beams. That's gonna hurt a bit. I think we got him. I think we got him. Uh, give me your soul. Uh, I can't believe the one with like the worst start was the one that I beat him on. <laughs> GG's, indeed. <laughs> Cerberus Guns, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Renners, good to see you again. I do not care to repeat that very much. Um... What was it, the first or second beam in that fight? I, I knew I was on a trajectory where I was going to get stuck in the wrong place, so I changed my plan. It was actually pretty good improvisation, but I can't remember exactly how it went. Maybe I should review... And we have three sigils left. We beat him on the first attempt where we... Well, the second attempt since we loaded this up today, basically. What did we get? Portal gun. Oh, we got the last prism. That's fun. Nyom, 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 nyom. Uh, should probably pick up some mage gear if we want to use that properly. Where did I put my accessories? We got the Celestial Starboard, which is kind of like a better hoverboard. Womp, 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 womp. Damn, that's fast. Oh, you can boost upward faster as well. Except it takes a little while to get going. I never really remember the Moon Lord drops very much because... I mean, they're basically just toys. Anything post the final boss. It sort of doesn't count. Uh, but yeah, where's that portal gun? Oh, and we got uh, the Terrarian. That's a good one. There's our Moon Lord Relic. Moon Lord Mask. And the Terrarian is actually kind of insane. I mean, 
anything that drops from the Moon Lord should be, but yeah. This was actually one of the better weapons I remember using in Calamity. These are homing projectiles, if I recall correctly. They pierce everything. So the question now is, as far as Terraria goes, what's next? And to be honest, I don't know. Um, I could try starting to speedrun. There's some crazy wacky seeds that I haven't played still. I've probably what I'll do next, I think, is uh, what is it called? The one with uh, for the worthy. I've never actually seen. I've I've avoided spoilers for for the worthy. What are the extra hard mode called? For the Worthy, yes. Uh, it makes all the bosses kind of big and insane, I think. Uh, also, the world is like full of lava, even on the surface. And some really nasty traps, I think. Like, I, I know a, a few things about it, but I haven't seen it that much. I do like the idea of trying to hone a speedrun, even though I'm, I'd be a total noob at it at this point. Uh, particularly since I can kill things without arenas. Or, I mean, if I was doing a speedrun, I would probably use explosives to clear out a space to fight Plantera. But pretty much anything else, I can just kill out in the open without any prep. Well, let me clarify that. Without preparing the terrain, just get some buff potions and stuff. I've got a, I've got a build that kills Duke Fishron with Meteor Gear and like one spell that you can get early in hard mode. Killing Duke that fast would be, you know, first, more or less first thing you do in hard mode, kill Duke. I could probably optimize that pretty well. I think I'd like to do a save where I do some nicer buildings next time as well, though. So I'm definitely leaning toward for the worthy. And I am aware of the seed that combines, like, every insane seed in the game. I can't remember what it's called. Tempest or something? But yeah, I think we'll go for, for the worthy. Let's give this one a save then. And let's make a character. Uh, randomize. Hardcore? No, I don't think so. Um, classic. But the map difficulty is going to be... Master. Uh, where's the randomize buttons? Here we go. Show me the most worthy, randomly generated player character. This has got to be it. A hundred thousand percent. Look at that hair. The most worthy. Okay. And then we've got uh do I just type for the worthy under the seed? Is it spaces? I need to look this up. 
Terraria or the worthy scene. Or the worthy. The following seed can be used to generate a for the worthy world. For space the space worthy. Okay. And can I randomize the name? There we go. Table of dank memes. Suburb of creepers. The rotting city of dreams. Or of shenanigans. Um, I think some of these are close, but not quite. The Den of Zoomers? Quick remark, uh, Mirage of Morose, uh, Remorse almost had me. The Head of Elderberries. Low key object of dabbing. I think they've, um, gone a bit far with some of the map name generations. I'm sure I missed it. What are you trying now? Uh, we're going to do a For the Worthy seed. I've never actually done it before. Limbo of Legs? The Utopia of Broken Dreams. That sounds like a bit of a oxymoron. The Underworld of Owls? You know we got to take that one. Oh, it's the Underwood of Owls. Not quite. The Sacred Gulf of the King? <laughs> that kind of sounds like a good fit for For the Worthy. Alright. Oh no, we got Crimson. Everything's backward. Thank God, what do you mean? Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What happened? Um, we beat Moonlord on Don't Dig Up with no arenas. And now we're going to do For the Worthy. And it should almost go without saying, but we're going to do For the Worthy without arenas. For the worthy arenaless master. There we go. We got to add tags here earlier. For the worthy arenas. Fantastic. I'm happy about the seed name. Is For the Worthy harder slash better than what you just finished? Um, I imagine it's a bit of a side grade in difficulty. It might be a bit harder overall. We'll see. Sacred Gulf of the King. Legendary. Uh-oh. Wait, did you finish? Uh, yeah, I beat Moonlord on Don't Dig Up. If that's what you're asking. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Is that a bomb? Holy crap. All right. All right. Okay. I think I have to assume I'm playing I want to be the guy on this seed. Bombs can just drop from trees. Good to know. Uh, that's the demolitionist. That's not the guide. And I'm a little scared of what this slime is going to be like. It seems like it's just a normal slime. Hello, demolitionist. Uh, I would love to buy some grenades, but I think it's a bit early for that. Finally see some video? Wait, what? Let's try this again. Hey, T-Hacks and chat. Hey, Andy. Oh, no, not again. Nope, 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 nope. Is this the demolitionists doing? I'm gonna have to build a tree farm out of 
explosion proof blocks for the most part. I don't know if we have to wait till... It, it, it used to be only the dungeon had explosion proof blocks, but now I don't know. Gimme, gimme. Let's get like 500 wood. That is a stink bug. It probably isn't dangerous. But I don't trust this seed at all. You start, indeed. Ascend Anima. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And one more. I wish I had a projectile. I really want that cactus. Can I get this guy to shoot over me? Um, yeah, that works, I guess. I guess he just doesn't have angle. He could just crawl into the sand and leave me alone. We could pretend we didn't see each other. No? Okay. I'm hoping I can borrow some cactus without... Uh, the slimes are coming. I don't like it. There we go. I'm pretty sure I can handle one vulture, probably. He's actually not coming. But I'm pretty sure I need a lot more cactus for my favorite starter armor. We need 20... Uh, I can't even see how much I need for the other parts, so yeah. Well, why don't I make a cactus sword? That's a start. That's a lot better shaped to keep the vultures away. Ow, 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 holy crap. Uh, I'm gonna die if he touches me again. Didn't realize I was... I mean, I probably should have realized I was in that much danger, but... Didn't think it'd be that easy for him to get through. Cactus will grow back naturally, there's no need to worry about that. Let's try not to kill the budding... Water leaf. And is that an oasis? I believe it is. Rip, indeed. I think I wasted a mushroom as well. How much cactus do we have? 63. I think I'm getting close. Should have brought that table with me. Uh, let's see. We need 30, 50, 75. We literally need like seven more cactus. This one vulture stands between us and the coolest starting armor. I would prefer not to fight it until I have full health. So I can survive one hit. I've never bothered with a wooden fishing pole. That is abysmally bad. Um, why is that bunny got explosives? What? 
Explosive Bunny. Let's pull the less scary looking thing over this way. Okay. No, he's a... Uh, he's where the cactus is. Is he gonna... Uh, okay. Thank, thank you, bunny. I wonder if it's friendly or if it'll just attack anything. They just spawn that way in the seed. You can build a farm for them. Wait, a farm for which? Well, regardless, we got the cactus armor. My favorite starting armor set. It's basically a permanent thorns potion. Also, we get a whopping three defense. Explosive bunnies. Okay. Let me see how much damage this does to both of us. 40 to me and probably about 40 to him. Ow. Whoops. Uh, I don't really want to fight a ju jungle slime. Oh wow, we found the jungle already? I did make this a large world, didn't I? It will only explode when damaged like normal, and you can catch them. So did the bunny not deliberately walk into the slime? So, Sergio... Miss, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, it's a bit of a risk, but I don't want to wait until night time trying to regen health before we try to get past this vulture. I forgot I have no dash. That could have been a bit of a stupid death. Um, these guys are definitely in the way. Uh... Um... Um, dig down? I guess. Once that block is out of sight, I need to put another block on top of my head. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure a zombie could just drop on my head. We're already seeing lava. Do I have any, uh, torches? There we go. That was just AI, I think. Like, the regular movement. Cool. Catboy Cutie Cloud? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, we got some clay. That's good. I'll take as much as the game is offering. So we can get some nice early farming. Uh, and I did say I want to do some nice builds this time. Last time it was a bit of a mess. We don't actually have any bombs though, even though they drop out of trees. Well, clay is pretty easy to dig, at least. I think it takes like five clay to make a pot, so this is already a good start. going to take to find a mirror, or just some potions, return potions. What have we got here? Our first cave. Uh, I don't think there's a trap here. Don't particularly want to go down there. Ooh! 
our first gem tree already. Let's get some light. We'll definitely take that massive pile of lead. Stone block. Wait, what? No. I thought it sounded different, like I picked up a trap block or something. Come to think of it, I don't have a furnace yet. There's no reason to go back to base. We don't have one. Um, not overly fond of dropping next to that tile of lava. Let's do it like this. And then it turns out the cosmetic lava flow stuff kills you. Nope, oh, we're good. Don't see any traps, I think, I hope. Oh, it's the worst possible gem tree. The lighting was making it look like it was maybe, um... Uh, what's that stuff that you need for fishing potions or something? Let's get a bit more blocks over here. So we can plant the next gem corn. Wait, I fell asleep. Did you start over? Yep, we killed Moonlord. We finished. Red Slime? I don't want to... I'm not ready. I don't, I don't want to fight Red Slime. Shoo. Sit in the corner and think about what you've done. Uh, so yeah, this is... I tried to... Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't remember having or tossing a bomb. What just happened? Uh, I just tried to use a grappling hook that I don't have, but I'm pretty sure that's unrelated to the random explosion. I am really going to have to try and keep my wits about me and not take anything for granted with this seed. If I want to make it more than 10 minutes without dying. Um, I'll definitely take the cobwebs. We can make rope out of that if we need to. I don't think I've got any rope yet. Let's make a little bridge over here. Me in. There we go. Pots can also drop bombs. Lovely. That's some copper. I'll probably just skip copper, to be honest, but... I'm pretty sure we do need it for a couple of things. Besides, it's right in front of us. Let's make our first furnace. Um, I might need more torches than this. I might need... Oh, no, we're good. What's the seed for the worthy? Should I craft cursed flames? Uh, yeah, I would definitely give them a try. I don't think they're that great, but there might be a degree of personal preference in, you know, the way they handle. Uh, but they, they do a lot of damage and pierce through things and set things on fire. They are not weak. Um, let's make the clay pots already. I guess there's no reason to do that, it just increased how much stuff I'm carrying, but it's good to know I've got 36 clay pots, I guess. And 
let's head down this way. Ooh, tungsten. Gimme, gimme. Build a little bridge under that. Oh yeah, how many bars did we get? 13 and 14. We need an anvil. Usually I like to just get 50 silver together uh, to make the merchant show up and buy the anvil so it doesn't cost any metal. But considering we kind of got forced down here with no... No home base. Oh, rude. Very rude. I still have no healing potions. Oh no. And that's why cactus armor is good. I don't think I even hit him. I could have literally done nothing and won that fight with like 30 health left. Get in here before that slime shows up. I have no. Uh, I've actually got zero gel, so I kind of want to fight that slime. One, two, three. But let's try not to die to it pointlessly. Fantastic. Three whole torches. Well, since torches are actually kind of precious at this point, let's take a couple of these back. Is that a trap? That's definitely a trap. That is a red touch plate. It is not a gem. Can't be bothered to go after that copper, or the cobwebs for that matter. We've got... Ooh! Take these. What is this? Eleven emeralds? If we find four more, we'll have a grappling hook. Alternatively, I could plant them but I don't want to wait that long. Also, I'd have to find the space or dig out the space. This uh, yellow slime is actually pretty spooky. I'm very wary of traps here. That's a cactus. Uh, I need to kill more slimes. But yellow slime is creeping me out. And I still have no go home. I don't have any ranged attacks either. I guess I could... well, no. If I had a ranged attack, I could pop that uh, pot and hope it drops a bomb. Okay, blue slime I can handle. Probably without even trying. Red slime is not so bad either. I think I just killed a mouse. Ow. Okay, maybe red slime is a bit of a problem. Uh, let's eat food. And think about our life choices. Where we have to cower from a slime. That really is not a very long trek to... 
the jungle. This is the edge of the map. Now this is our starting point, and that is jungle grass. Uh, this lighter green over here. That's not a whole lot of room at the start. Alright, maybe I just try driving past these guys? I don't have any torches. Oh crap, oh no. I think I'm dead. I, I think I'm just dead. I'm gonna try driving over here. Okay, torches. There we go. That's a bit better. That's gold. Can't see where it is. Fantastic. If anything had been in the way down here, that would have been the first death. Don't see any traps. I see a bomb. Wait, we don't even get any stuff when it drops a bomb like that. That's rude. Factorio is much easier. Don't understand the progression in Terraria. Fair enough. Alright, do not drop in the lava. And let's get some light over here. This area is actually pretty safe. Except for being flanked by slimes. I guess I could make a anvil myself. We're getting the gift of half-dead slimes from over here, but I don't want to play with yellow slime. Hey, and these ones have despawned or something. And we get our first healing potions. Fantastic. Can't see anything. I know there are traps on the rail, actually. I, I'm, I'm not comfortable with this anymore. Let me out. It used to be rail was safe from traps. Uh, halt and see. Oh, just in time. Okay, can we maybe drain this water a bit? How much further would I have to dig? A bit too far? Let me out. Um, maybe I can get up there. Not really. Let's just be careful. I see a pot. Oh, there's the touch plate. And now we have a great uh, pressure plate. We can... We, we can't see the wires? Oh no. Oh no. I don't know if this is the new version or the seed or what, but it used to be holding this stuff would reveal the wire connections to you. Well, that makes traps a bit more threatening. Normally, uh oh. Normally, once I get one of these items, um. It's totally my fault if I die to a trap, like, no question. Ow. Red slime hits for 60. Oh yeah, let's make a campfire, get some regen. Not ideal, indeed. I need to replace that bit of track. I still don't have any projectiles. Can I make a bow? How much wood do I have? Lots. 
Oh, God. Okay, 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 okay. Who said you could come up here? Oh, no. I think this is how I die. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna chill here for a bit. Alright. We have a whopping three gel. We've got... Agonizingly slow health regeneration. One healing potion. Um... Bunch of stuff that's good to get started on a new base, but I have no way to teleport home still. I wish I could reach here to dig. What if I... Just... Leave you guys in there. <laughs> Uh, there's still a couple of slimes down here. I don't like it. There we go. Don't you dare squeeze through that. Alright, where's that rail? There we go. I'll take that sand. Oh, and one uh, sapphire. Two sapphires. If it was two emeralds, I'd actually be happier right now. We'd have our grappling hook. Watching out for traps. I'll definitely take some tungsten, but not before light. Fantastic. At this rate, we'll be skipping straight from cactus armor to tungsten. That's not a touch plate. That's tungsten. That's a red slime. Takes about 16 or 17 swings to kill him. There we go. And one more tungsten up here. Torch. I said torch. I have no torches. Let's not waste the last of our uh, gel so that we know where it is. Ouch. Doop, doop, doop. This slime is in a very awkward... Oh yeah, we got rail. That's a good... Obsidian? Wasn't expecting that down here, but I guess I should have. Or up here, I, I guess I should say. That was good outcome, which was... Uh, bomb? Nope. I think that's our first rope. That's a lot of copper. I'm not particularly into copper, but that is a huge chunk of copper. Um, that red slime is almost dead, but still. Let's make a bow, like I was gonna do before the slimes rudely interrupted. Oh, and a yo-yo would probably be a really good idea. Yo-yo... Doesn't have a whole lot of range at this point, but... We can tickle enemies to death from a cozy spot like this. Trapping the slimes, indeed. Alright, that's one down. This is actually pretty good. Wooden yo-yo OP. As is Cactus Armor. What do we have over here? Nothing. 
Kind of, kind of feels like there should be a bomb here, but apparently not. It's a big chunk of lead. I guess we should give up on teleporting back home, starting an NPC house, waiting for the merchant to show up. Oh, that's a dart trap. Get out of there. It's going to be a lot easier to just build an anvil down here. Alright, furnace. Uh, lead bars we've already got. Anvil. Do I need a workbench? Thank you, lava. One of the advantages of this seed is there's lots there's lava in lots of places that'll get rid of the slimes for you. Um how do I make an anvil? I could have sworn it was iron or lead. We've got Oh, wait. Why do I have four workbenches? There we go. Lead anvil. Uh, let me just dig this out. Anvil, and uh, what do I want to make first? Probably a better sword. Let's get tungsten. We've already got 18 bars. I think a weapon would make the most... So Ooh! I could make an emerald staff. Uh, how much mana does it cost? Six. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is... Uh, this is probably the strongest I've ever had for one of these star uh, staves that you can craft. To actually have this at this point, this part of the game. Although we're going to need some more mana, which means going back to the surface. Oh, it can double hit. Nice. But I'm out of mana again. You could just die? <laughs> nah. I'm gonna play I'm gonna I'm gonna play this like it's hardcore somewhat. And see how far I get. Let's just make a bridge. Speaking of which. Uh nothing explosive over here. Fantastic. I feel like there's a trap, but it looks like that. <laughs> Oh, what? Wait, what? Why? Why was there a... Why was there a touch plate here for a boulder that drops over here when this bridge didn't exist to begin with? Also, I guess if it rolled left, it wouldn't have been a problem. It would have broken here, but jeez. Food fighter, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think I'll put that there, and that should be fine. I need a better sword. The staff is actually really good, it's just that I don't have mana. Uh, Alright, what else can we make? Tungsten sword? Uh, yes. Absolutely. Get out of here. Cactus so small? Well, at least it's DPS is normal. Swings pretty quick. Oh, this is clay. This is a lot of clay. Let me just get enough clay to reduce the number of stacks of things I'm carrying. Okay. Um, 
workbench? Or oh, no, it's burners, surely. Clay pot. I need four more clay. And we can carry one less stack of stuff. There we go. A lot of rails. That snail made me think it was a touch plate. That's a red slime. Oh, I almost prefer the cactus sword with how much slower this with how much smaller this is, but no, the DPS is much better. I'm not touch uh trusting that that touch plate was only linked to the dart trap. Shurikens? Uh, that's kind of hard to reach. On second thought, it's tungsten. Let's grab it. It's not that hard to reach. Okay, that's a boulder. Ow! Where did slime go? There we go. Let's get our bearings real quick. Oh yeah, we've got the yo-yo. It's a bit weak though. Alright, I should be able to drop here. Let's kill this boulder. Fantastic. Not gonna hang around here for that lead. How many torches do I have? Ten. Not a whole lot. We got 22 gel though. Alright, that feels a bit better. bomb this time. But that's that's a yellow slime. I don't wanna let's just make ourselves a nice little cubby here. That's an awful lot of tungsten. Maybe we could even think about tungsten armor soon. It'd be a bit easier if I had some bombs, but on the other hand, maybe I'd blow myself up. All that extra lava is creating a lot more natural light and makes it easier to get around, uh, easier to explore. Alright, what are we smelting? Tungsten. And we have 26 bars. Where's my anvil? We need 25 bars for the chainmail. Plus 4 defense, but we lose the... the thorns. I definitely want to work towards tungsten armor, though. 25, 30, 40... Uh, we need 60 bars. Well, 
We're more than a quarter of the way there, I guess. FYI, under that first lava pool was a room? First lava pool? Wh which one do you mean? I don't see one. Oh yeah, the slimes have gone. We could probably go back up. Let's get some... a web rope. And... a bit more. Oh, yellow slimes here. Never mind. Probably should have made like a zigzag so that the... This could be traversed still. Warita, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What do we have in here? Nothing. Cobwebs. Look at that little sword. When you came down, Amber. Falling, let it up. Amber falling. Well, I'm sure we'll find it eventually. found another trillion clay. Fantastic. That's a nice little handy bit of... Oh, is that gold? A handy bit of free scouting. Definitely take the gold. After some Dota games, I'm back. What happened with the Moon Lord? Uh, we killed him. Finished the video game on that seed. Despite the low gravity and instant death space and uh, perpetual nighttime. I forgot what other thing I was going to list. Is that a touch plate? That is not a touch plate. And what's in here? A pot. With nothing bad in it. Fantastic. Is it going to take like 600 years to find the means to teleport myself back? on this seed. Is that how it's going to be? likely show us the way to a lot of stuff. Something feels fishy here. Oh, they got spiders up here. Good to know where to find them. 
how many hours they've got on Terraria? A lot. I uh, played it back before the mech bosses were even a thing, before hard mood existed. Tell me we get... <gasps> Bone pickaxe! That's actually better than what I was hoping for. Nice. Uh, I was actually just hoping for the light helmet. But I'll take this. I don't trust that jellyfish. If we're going to try to... Um, that's a bat. I don't trust that jellyfish as far as getting past it on the rail is concerned. I also don't trust bats not coming in here. So I think... I think we dig. That's a bomb. I started laughing. Unfortunately, they didn't sell boxes, but it's waste product for them. So I got some for free. Went to the store to buy some small cardboard boxes. Fair enough. That's unpacked goods. Um, do I have any bombs? I do have bombs. I have three whole bombs. Let's get to it. Yeah, I think, uh, I think that bat was making it official that I've dug too deep with this cactus armor and tungsten broadsword. We need to get out of here. Or just stay hidden from enemies all the time. Oops. But getting back upstairs is going to be... Oh no. That's not what I had in mind. Uh, getting back upstairs is going to be a challenge. Well, we do have a bunch of rope. We've got 69 rope. Nice. And we can make... Uh, like 500 web rope. That shouldn't be too difficult. Hey, we just got our next... Th we got bombs 4 through 6 with that one pickup. Oh, wow, this is luxurious. Look at how much pickaxe power I have this early in the game. Oh, that's nice. Alright. Rope. 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 And... Back up we go. Um, I do not want to take the slightest risk of just stepping off into the lava. Because the controls might be weird. Let's grab this copper while we're here. Uh, I was going to use bombs, but then... Bone pickaxe. OP. Nice. Is digging up not an option? It is, it's just a bit of a pain. Oh yeah, we got the uh, slimes out of the way now. I want to see what's over this way. Once again, oh, that's a worm, but I have no net. Uh, a worm made me think it was a touch plate. What the heck is that? Oh, this thing auto-swings. That's good. Fantastic. It's just a weird-looking bit of... something. Uh, at this rate, our first pickaxe is going to be amber. Or amethyst, rather. Oh, this is probably going to be the underground desert. We don't want to mess with that. Not at this stage. Yep, 
Yellow slime, do not want. I just want to get below spawn. Dig straight up. There we go. That's like here, actually. That's kind of hard to get to. Just dig up here for now. Uh, how about some rope? More rope. Let me up. Let me up. There we go. I see more amethyst. Whatever gets me the pick, uh, the grappling hook sooner, I'll take it. Or sapphire. All right, up we go. I already went past spawn. If water finds its way down here. A bomb in my face would be a bit of a problem though. Looks okay. Let's not walk into a trap. I do not see any traps. Looks a good. Alright, more web rope. Uh, see what's ahead of us. Is digging... Oh, right. Okay. Sorry. Oh, wait. I already used all that web rope? Here we go. Don't tell me Ball the Worthy just doesn't have potions of return or anything. I think I'd cry. Oh wow, that is a lot of amethyst. Okay, uh, what do we got? We got our first grappling hook. Ah, much better. It's not going to make it that much easier to dig up here. Way there. It's a bit of a slog. That's cactus. I'm not drowning, but my torch is not showing anything yet. Imagine using the old pick. Old pick? What do you mean by that? Oh, that's 
weird. Why wasn't it showing my torch? I hear rain. I would really like to get to the desert to pick up some water leaf seeds. But I don't think we're going to make it in time. Well, maybe. getting into a groove now. And it's over. Right, let's rush over to... I'm not going to worry about this for a sec. Actually, give me grenades. I'll try and keep like 50 silver. So that shopkeep could show up. Now, I think I should keep wood here. F can be grenades. Ow, I didn't even see that. Fucking flying fish. Oh, I forgot I can't run, but the desert is right here. I'm just looking for one single water leaf seed to get things started. Okay, I don't think I'm going to go this way right now. Not in a sandstorm with cactus armor. Prior to the bone pickaxe? What? Old pickaxe. Prior to the bone pickaxe. I mean, yeah, that's why it's in here. Let's sell some stuff. Um, I don't want to sell shurikens. They can be really good against the Eye of Cthulhu. Uh, Dart Trap is a material now? I don't remember that being a thing. I hear enemies coming. Oh, no. Oh, it's a zombie time. And he's got a long arm. I'm scared. Uh... Oh, I've got grenades. And so does Demolitionist. Even so, I would rather not play with the zombies, actually. To be honest. Let's get back underground. Either that or I'll have to jezball myself. Yeah, uh, why don't we build a little fortification? It's a little hard to see, but that should keep the zombies out on this side. And over here as well. And let's start building. I normally like to build around the spawn point, which is right about here. That seems pretty good. a marigold. Why did it take position over my wood? I think I lost count of the size of this. 
I I want to know if stars kill me. Uh, I don't think stars in For the Worthy used to kill people. I, d I never heard of that anyway. Okay, considering the fact that we can pick them up, I'm thinking they're probably like normal. Let's get a couple of doors. And some walls. And this housing is missing a chair. There we go. Fantastic. Um, I've got a whole bunch of crap in my inventory now. I wish it was daytime. So how many tiles is that? I kind of want some symmetry, even if this is a temp build. Only ten. keep trying to dash sometimes. And doors. And wood walls. Usually I build uh, like into the ground, but I guess with all the enemies here, I'm just not thinking the same way. Wouldn't it be easy to build the speedrun houses in the beginning? Uh, but I wanted to explore. I'm not trying to speedrun this time. Also, I wouldn't really call this a speedrun house. Um, I've seen jankier, let's put it that way. Um, and we're gonna want room for the guide and the shopkeep. Well, these two could be the guide and the shopkeep, and we could go down and build a room for the demolitionist, but for now this is fine. Once we actually have a place we can call home, we can start improving it. Alright, and we need about 36 more walls. I thought so, we're one short. Okay. This housing is suitable. By my standards, these are good houses. Somewhere, someone is crying. Let's sell the Ruthless Copper Pickaxe. Uh, Copper Short Sword. Cactus Sword. Don't care about the... Well, the glow sticks might be handy. I need a chest. Is it not a little bit unusual that I haven't seen a single chest yet? Maybe... maybe not. Uh, how do I make chest? with not anvil. I hate spending iron on a chest, but I don't really think we have a choice at this point. Um, Alright, let's start with our metals. I really want the metals next to the furnace. Let's just do that here 
for now. Oh, no real reason for a door. Let's get anvil and workbench. Uh, and maybe some platforms. Or some chests. Alright, so pre-hard mode metals and stuff can go in here. Definitely take that stuff. How many have we got? Four. One more and I can upgrade my mana. I have like seven. Hmm. Where's my rope? Oh, he jumped over it. It's just a regular zombie, though. We should be okay. Ouch. Fantastic. Now get me out of here. That's not what I was trying to place. Where's my rope? Oh no. Oh no. Go away. Shoo. And it's morning. Actually, that was perfect timing. Uh, let's get our first mana upgrade. Fantastic. I don't suppose we can put these in ammo slots? Nope. Alright, let's organize. And I'm gonna want a separate chest for potion things. Um, let's get our farm started, such as it is. How many pots do I have? 21. Good thing that I was blind and missed, right? Uh, clay pot. We have 39. Okay. I know we don't strictly need clay pots for blink root, but I like the luxury of not having my farm get wasted. Grab those mushrooms. Hey, it's still raining. Alright, let's try getting the uh, water leaf seeds. Sorry, worm. I'm actually not used to being able to kill the worms at this point. Ow. Okay, up the top of this hill, I believe, there's a water leaf or two. Yes. Alright, that's all I'm looking for. Let's get out of here. Get that farm started nice and early. Let's put water leaf over here. Bay bloom over here. Grab a bug net from merchant. Anything else? We already made the anvil. Uh, don't care too much. I've only got one gold anyway. But I don't care too much about the piggy bank right now. This'll do. Kind of want to explore to the left. It 
So now we can actually do some decent fishing. If we so desire. I think I'll wait till we get the angler. Before I bother fishing though. Whoops, that could have been bad. All the day bloom and mushrooms, please. And what have we here? Uh, I don't know, but it looks dangerous. Let's hook. And keep going. I sort of forgot that I had to hook for a little while there. This guy can't even two-shot me. Did you start over? Yep, we finished. Uh, Fridley, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We beat, uh, don't dig up Moon Lord without boss fight arenas. Should we be going to a snow biome at this point? It's a little more dangerous than usual. But only a little bit. But that's a lot of slimes that just happen to have spawned over here. I'm just going to keep swinging this, and if you walk into it, it's your fault. Okay. Grenade. Ow. That was not what I was expecting. Okay. How many heals do I have? Two left. Oh my god, I landed on it. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. Okay. Okay. Let's head down this way. Get some air. And take five. I think I bit off... I think I bit off a little bit more that I could chew over here. Let's just take our time. have down here. Safety? And explosions? Safety and explosions. Fantastic. Getting plenty of ice and snow in the bargain. If we find a snowball cannon, that would be most desirable. It's also one of the premier overpowered if you get it super early weapons. Oh, that's just a collectible bomb. We got some lava down here, it looks like. I sh oh. Oh, I ran out of torches. Yoink. That was one too many. Uh, we got some more gel over here. Oh yeah, we got the yo-yo. That's a good tool for this job. Fantastic. Yo-Yo is sort of like a low-tech magic missile, almost.
I need to do the torch guard and get those lovely biome torches. Colin, the guide has arrived. It's about time. I don't believe we can dig obsidian with this pickaxe. Hearts rare in this seed? Yeah, it seems like a lot of stuff is hard to find in this seed, but it could just be variants. We haven't found a single heart, we haven't found a single means of teleporting home, even once. Uh, and I think there was something else I noticed we haven't found yet, but I don't recall what it was. Um, okay, that's an interesting tactic. Yep, and he falls back down at some point. Okay. Dig, dig. No chests yet? Yeah, exactly. We haven't found a single chest. Surely, surely it's not a seed without chests. Would that even work? How would it work? What, we fish everything up? I doubt it. Big cave to the right? Yeah, a little bit. There's also one below us. I don't particularly want to get the frost debuff. Let's go this way. Gonna keep rolling? Not quite. What do we have here? Tungsten? Are you stuck? Yarp Strid, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, wow. Oops, I messed up. Oh, no. This this is awkward. Um, we can actually breathe in here. There's actually nothing in that room. I think there's a pot here. Don't blow me up. Thank you. I can actually breathe like this. Just barely. Alright, let's make... Uh, nope, 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 nope. Bad slime. Bad slime. Stay in your corner. Alright, let's make ourselves an S-Bend. And down we go. That's a bomb. Yo yo time. That's a bomb as well. And that's lava. Don't think it's going to be a problem. I'm not trusting lava to not one-shot me in this seed. I think it's going to be a bit like, don't dig up. Uh, Yulia X, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
I see something. Oh, I think that's our first uh, Shiverthorn down there. How many more torches? Plenty. Fantastic. I think we are just about post torch scarcity now. Some lava in that room. Yep, that is indeed Shiverthorn with seeds. No traps? Don't think so. That's, that's double bomb. And that's a bunch of emeralds. And rubies as well. Nice. Nice biomes always got lots of gems. For some reason. Uh, I need to be a bit more wary of these. Nope, we're good. Alright, what's down here? Ice bats. Nope, 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 not a fan. Nope. Um... I think that room is the last place we need to be going at this stage. What about up here, maybe? Don't have an extractinator yet, otherwise that slush would look attractive. Take the lead. Should f find some good chunks of uh, tungsten around here as well. Come to think of it, maybe I should... I was going to say maybe I should have brought um, the furnace with me, but we can just make it on the spot. Same goes for an anvil, I guess. Then again, we've got most of our... We, we've got almost all of our tungsten back at home. I really should have thought that through. That could have been a bomb. And then it would have been forced down here, and that looks like a touch plate. And those are bats. Not a fan. That's the same big cavern from before. I want to get over to the left. I should probably just dig there. And the next one's here. And I see another one coming. Alright. Let's just dig. And put some barriers between us. How about a door up here? Fantastic. Trust nothing. That's a biome torch. Something glowing. <gasps> That's our first life crystal. Let's go. What's glowing blue, though? That moves like that. Oh, it's a jellyfish. 
It's all underwater. Let's grab the two pets. Don't really care about any more amethyst. And I see something crawling. It's a viking. Alright, I want to drain this water to make it simple. And I definitely want all of this tungsten. Fantastic. We must be like maybe three quarters of the way to tungsten armor now. I almost messed that up. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Maybe I could just dig under and not drain the water and grab the heart. That's a slime. Be gone. Oops. Well, we got the life crystal anyway. That's also a bat. Do not care for that. Oh, I accidentally threw my grenades. Oh well. No bat today. Let's uh, get our first life upgrade. Alright, what would be the most sensible angle to keep going here? Probably three to the left. Where we accidentally drained this poor jellyfish's habitat. our last grenade. When did I get diamonds? Not that I'm complaining. Probably start a farm as soon as I can. Hey, I can do six of these now. I didn't realize. Fantastic. Don't really care about the copper. should have been a little bit more careful there. shows up, I dead. But these bats at least have the courtesy to be illuminated. That's where we've been getting diamonds from, the ice biome. Alright, let's build a bridge and walk over it. Fantastic. Just a guy who needs help. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, let's make uh, let's make an obsidian bridge over here. That works. And 
and I almost missed this little single tile of tungsten. They're not normally by themselves. Ow. Let's not do that again. I don't know how it got through my sword there, but I'm glad I used a healing potion. Otherwise I'd be at negative two health. Really anything in this room in particular? Oh, I can't... Wait, I can get obsidian? Okay, that's actually huge. Um... That means I should be able to get the obsidian armor pretty damn early. Or do you need a hellforge for that? Now those slimes are in the way. Should have put a door behind me. Should be okay here. Oh, nope. Alright, obsidian. Gimme, gimme. And let's try not to drown. I haven't made a single pickaxe, and I'm mining obsidian. Fantastic. How much have we got? 139. I think we need a few hundred. Maybe even like four or five hundred if we want to cover all of the hellstone armor, the obsidian skulls, and uh, the obsidian armor. Gallipop, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This way. That's a little bit safer. Now I can't see what I'm doing though. There we go. Two hundred and eighty-four obsidian. Very nice. Why don't we make a little door here? to go back for wood at some point. But slimes should have trouble following us through that. Can I get up? There we go. Be a little bit more careful of the lava. In fact, why don't I do this? Uh, probably because there's not enough water, actually. Ow, 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 what was that? Jeez, I almost got two shot by slush. Let's be a little bit more careful. Especially with the slippery ice. I really want to go back right now, but we've still got no means of doing that.
except for actually walking back. I can get kind of close to that rail that goes back home. With relative ease. Hey, the slimes are piling up at that door. There we go. I didn't see that pot. That could have been scary. That's a really big chasm down there. I, I, I know it's dangerous, but I kind of want to see. I guess it's not that big of a deal. That's gold, though. Not a whole lot of gold. Alright, let's get the last of this obsidian. Might just leave that there. A viking is on its way. Or is too confused to get up here and is just blocking my path. Uh, okay. Yo-yo, I guess. That's gonna take a minute to kill it. Just keep tapping it on the head. Tap, 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 tap. One more? No, two more. Aziz Light! Aziz Light? Eek the cat? Good to see you. Wait, weren't you here before? I don't know. Good to see you again regardless. Um, and can we perhaps escape the horde of slimes over here? Okay. I should really just carry doors for the early game. Here we go. All the way back through here. This is Bat Country. I keep trying to dash. Um, so I think like straight right from that ice bridge is probably going to do the trick. We can avoid breaking the ice bridge. Oh. There we go. Just barely not falling over it. Take that extra tungsten. Definitely take that extra tungsten. Uh, let's get a block under our feet here. There we go. And through here. I think that I I think that slime is gonna be a problem. Nope. safe. And we're out of the ice biome. With only three slimes in hot pursuit. Oh, I actually just happened to collide with a another room on 
the exact tile that I decided to stop digging. There we go. Is that more tungsten? You better be oh my god, that 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 is a sneaky slime. Wow. Just hiding in the tiniest cavern possible where I see tungsten above me waiting to be dug out. Ten out of ten. Good try. Ow, ow, what was that? Sand. That was sand. Uh, you can just stay there. Don't play with yellow slime. Rope. Alright, are we getting close to that rail yet? Not really. I guess this isn't the underground desert. It's just a bit of rock and stone. I mean... Rock and stone? Are we playing Deep Rock Galactic? That's a lot of slimes though. That is... That is several slimes. And I have no AoE now. Well, unless you count regular bombs. Um... Okay, not bad. That was pretty good actually. Yeah? Okay. Explosions are the stuff of dreams. For Carl, indeed. Rock and stone. I haven't played that in quite a while. I understand it's got a lot added to it. And we finally make it to our rail. It'll take us home. Let's not walk into the sand and die. That would be embarrassing. Especially after doing so well for so long. And where inventory is just barely full. Uh, what do I want to eat or drop or something? Oh, life crystal. Fantastic. Oh god. Oh no. No! Are you kidding me? I like the way my sword changed direction at exactly the wrong microsecond. Love Callie, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. They just dropped the new season, indeed. Not gonna lie, I kind of liked it better when games like that were just finished products and there wasn't a season to arbitrarily keep changing things to make people buy microtransactions. Uh, well, at least we're home, and it only cost us 350 damage. Nice. Uh, it only cost us, like, 3 gold, which is... Okay, if I go back and get this, it cost us, like, a gold or a gold and a half. Wait, how did the gold get over there? I died here. That is quite the bounce. Uh, let's get our Shiverthorn started. And I think that's it for new seeds. I need to make some uh, glass bottles. Some, uh, some glass. There we go. And glass bottles. 
And we need a water source. Looks like... No, that tripped down. Well, I can just go down here for some water if we have a bucket. Bucket... Like so. Oh, is that what I think it is? Yeah, a tungsten. Oh, and this is water. Fantastic. And you are a worm. You know what? Just just hit me. I know you want to. Just just come and get it. I won't even attack. You got this. Okay. Uh, so we need a water source. Well, I could make a sink out of the bucket, but this will do for now, I guess. And that way we can make bottled water. I need to keep at least one bottle so that we can make potions. And this is going to go in here. Uh, anything that makes potions. Including a little gold ore. But let's get our tungsten smelted. We've got 54. I believe we needed 70 something to make the set. 25, 30, 40, 60. Oh, we are so close to a full set of tungsten. Deep Rock, they added some stuff like meteors and a few events. Don't have to buy anything, I think. The only thing they sell is cosmetic packs. Yeah, no, I get that, but um, if they want to keep the throughput of people paying for cosmetics other than the actual cosmetics, uh, they feel they need... Like, this is games in general. They'll keep adding and changing stuff, and... You could have a perfect game, but they'll change it so that it's different next season, right? Do we have... we've only got three fallen stars. I think I'll keep this where it is. Uh, mushrooms go in here, next to the day bloom. That is another fallen star. I'll definitely grab some squirrel stew right now. An owl? Is that a regular bunny? So they do exist. Oh, we need a cooking pot. Cooking pot. Can we fit it here? And then... Grilled squirrel. Fantastic. Can you not make obsidian armor? I need a loom to make silk, and we might need something else. Uh, we've got 309 obsidian. We need, for the obsidian armor, only 60. We also need to kill uh, the Brain of Cthulhu first. And we're also going to need as many obsidian as we need hellstone bars, plus another 20 or 40. Um, but yeah, I think we've almost got all of the obsidian that we're ever going to need. For the worthy, you're risking your life. <laughs> uh, indeed. Can I not jump this? I know the timing is precise, but I didn't think it would be this difficult. There we go. That is a big eye. Shoo. Come to think of it, I need some lenses. Double hit. Fantastic. Oh, almost got them all. I have run out of arrows. There we go. No lens. Feels bad. Um, 
I should really get some more wood. I've got acorns somewhere. Oh, they're in my inventory. That would probably make sense. I don't really want to plant them here because sometimes they drop bombs. Is obsidian... Obsidian's not bomb-proof, is it? What's the most early game item you can get? Oh, I kind of... W I wanted to step into it to see if it would kill me, but my instinct took over at the last millisecond. Um, yeah, what's, what's the most early game item available that uh, doesn't... Like, a block that is explosion-proof. That would be very helpful. Oh boy. Oh, I'm in big trouble. Wow. They showed up quick. Probably meteorite? Is meteorite bomb-proof? Or the blocks that you can make out of them, I guess. Alright, let's stop being careless just because we've died once. I've got a lot of ice and snow. I really want that. Uh, I really want to find the snowball cannon now. We can make uh, frostburn arrows as well. Don't think there is, is a bomb proof. Oh, there is. Um, dungeon tiles are bomb proof. But I don't think they're the only ones these days. Um, let's put this over here for safekeeping. This goes in here. Um, yeah, I should probably treat nighttime like a threat. That seems like a good idea. Gems go down here somewhere. Can't remember the tears, but... It's probably close enough. Sand in here. I'll keep the stone on me since we'll always be picking it up and stack size is enormous. Cobweb goes into, I think, danger sense potions. Can't really do anything with blueberries at this point. Shurikens, we're going to save up for Eye of Cthulhu, potentially. And Silt, next to Slush. Dirt can stay there, I guess. Then again, there's no real reason. Let's just put this here for now. I want the star. Give me. Give, 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 give. There we go. I wanted to save that owl as well. Out of mana. Give me a lens. It's the least you can do. I come back. I thought it was leaving. There we go. Still haven't got a lens. Bruh. Where did I die? I shouldn't have gone that far. I didn't even, like, realize it was nighttime. I was being that... careless. Okay. I bet this is going to come in handy, though. Oh yeah, cactus. Cactus goes in potion ingredients. Um, slot 4 is usually my teleport home, but we don't have it. Bombs, I guess, can stay here. I should really be carrying some grenades. I've got no money, though. I have to go back and get it. Let's see if we can't get our two gold back. Do 
beep, beep. Shouldn't be difficult. Oh, that was a good swing. I didn't actually think I could prevent the slime from hitting me, but hold it off. What is that? Nothing? Nothing. Red slime. Get out of here. That's only half my health now. There's a bit of tungsten back there I need to remember. And let's not die this way. Not interested in fighting you. Go away. Shoo. Shoo. And the gold was where we died. The map was lying to us. And we actually just picked up like three gold. Alright. Oh, we can't teleport home. I keep forgetting. Let's go get that tungsten then. We literally need like five tungsten bars, I think. Uh, to get our full set of tungsten armor. That's going to be a big upgrade, to say the least. Where is it? Down there. That looked like a touch plate. It's not a touch plate. I missed. Can't even see this guy. There we go. Hey, blink root. We got seeds. Fantastic. Let me out. Let's go home and get this uh, farm started. I believe it's up here. Oh, it's yellow slime. Making things awkward again. Okay, okay, that made it more awkward than I expected. Glad I bought those grenades. Do, do. Do, 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 do. Is there any value in killing this worm? I think it's only ever going to drop money, right? And a tiny amount at that. Alright, how much tungsten do we have? 58! Isn't it 65 that we need? 15 plus 25 is 30, 40... No, we need 60. We need two more bars. Which is seven. We need seven more tungsten. Let's find it. Wait, wait, wait. Let's get the blink root seeds started first. They can be the biggest pain in the butt to get going. These days. And we lucked out by getting three seeds. I should probably take this opportunity to uh, get some wood. I wish I could somehow pick up or defuse the bomb if it drops in the tree. Let's just do it this way.
I don't love cutting down the tall trees, because you never get them back. Whoops. Sorry, squirrel. Have you relocated to Vietnam, or why is there bombs dropping out of your trees? Uh, it is the For the Worthy seed. Bombs randomly drop from trees when they're shaken, and from pots. For some reason. Uh, I keep forgetting. I automatically murder critters. Because normally I carry the book that makes it impossible. The guide to being nice to critters or something. I'll take some explosive bunnies. Ah uh, yes, obviously makes sense. Yes. All of the sense is being made right now. Alright, let's park some acorns right about here. Fantastic. And slowly walk back. I should really make a pit deep enough to trap the zombies here. Let's get some rope. Right about there. In fact, there's lava everywhere. I could make a little... Uh, zombie killer. Don't know exactly how many tiles it's supposed to be to get thin lava from one bucket so that the items don't get destroyed. Just have a little Viet Cong hole down this way. Oops. How did that bit of dirt get dug out? Alright. Lava. Go. So is that going to prevent items from being destroyed? find out. Uh, let's see. One cobweb. Fantastic. Oh, gonna get killed by the demo man if I'm not careful. I don't know if that's, I don't think that's possible. But you never know. Let's do another one over here. So that was like 5, 10, 13, 14, 15 tiles. Well, first of all, let me dig a deep enough hole that the zombies can't jump out. Seems good. this door, or lack of door, whatever. Okay. Um, that's not quite right. Where's our dirt? There it is. One, two, three, four, five. 
One, two, three, four, five. That should work. Love how you were like, oops, so squirrel. Oops, so squirrel to the one you accidentally killed, yet you caught one earlier and cooked it. Yes. That's how that works. Uh, empty bucket becomes lava bucket. And lava bucket goes here. Guide, I wouldn't I wouldn't step forward if I were you. Uh, I kind of forgot to... No, squirrel! Oh. Can I... Dig this? There we go. Oh, and I forgot to check. Can we drop items here without them being destroyed? Fantastic. Uh, it's possible the zombies can't jump through there. They'll, like, jump here and then not be able to get in here. We'll see. Actually, if I put a door there instead, um, it's guaranteed. And over here as well. Hello, bunny. No, no, no. Ow, 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 ow. That was stupid. At least it didn't one-shot me, um, or did it. Still burning for five seconds. Uh, rip our water. I'll get some more. There we go. Perfectly safe. Disclaimer to actual squirrel. No actual squirrels were harmed in the making of this video. Yes. Uh, all right, let's make some grill and okay, I'm gonna feel a little bit bad about critters just walking in there all the time, but it's almost night time, so ocean ingredients should go in here. I guess acorns can go in there as well. We need literally seven tungsten. Oh, I found it already. All right, so we go straight down, left, and... All right, as soon as we see some lava, we need to get under it. Right there. I'm surprised I didn't do this already. Just got to get that red slime out of the picture. And that worm is not helping. Um, feeling a little uncomfortable here. Not gonna... <gasps> what the hell? What hit me? What hit me? Was it sand? What? I'm so confused. And low on health. Okay. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good now. It's probably fine. Uh, let's not hook ourselves into a trap, just because we're a little overexcited. Alright, I'm still reaching for a magic mirror that doesn't exist. I haven't actually been down there yet. Alright, let's get out of here. Let me out. I said let me out. Okay. 
can't believe we've only found like two hearts so far as well. And zero chests. Alright, Tungsten. Now's your time to shine. Helmet. Chainmail. Greaves. We go from 3 defense with thorns to 15 defense without thorns. I haven't got any accessories to give me, um, to give me defense either. But I kind of want to compare, I, I kind of want to compare how much damage, say, a red slime does to me now. It was doing 70. I think uh, I remember reading the way damage reduction works, and it's actually like, you know, 45, damn. That's a pretty big improvement. That's more than one damage reduction per defense. Cool. We are a tank compared to what we were a minute ago. I need to get some water. Where's my bucket? There we go. Okay. Why don't I just make a sink already? Out of lead, that seems safe. Don't know what else we're going to make it out of at the moment. I could do a wooden sink. It's literally just wood, bucket, and workbench. Didn't know it was that easy. And we can't accidentally lose this one. Alright, we'll put this sink over here, I guess. And what should we do now? With our silver armor, with tungsten armor. Probably fight the Eye of Cthulhu, but I have no lenses, no way to summon it. Uh, and I'm nowhere near having the hit points to make it appear. I think we should just do a bit more spelunking. I could maybe go back to the ice. Look for the snowball cannon. Maybe an ice, uh, an enchanted ice sword. There's some really good early game stuff in there. Let's head over. As much as I want to see what's down here. Moon Lord? Not yet. It's going to be at least seven minutes. That is just lead, actually. Already not too concerned about lead. Uh, I'm going to try not to feel invincible. Going from cactus armor to silver. I mean to tungsten. But it's going to be a little difficult. Nothing here. That barely... Oh, wow. I did not see that. Uh, yeah, the bomb that I just stood on top of, that did hurt a little bit. A lot less than expected, though. There we go. And we're back in the ice biome, technically. Uh, maybe the ice bats are not so terrifying now. Maybe I should have made iron skin and regen, actually. That would have been smart. We've got daybloom, we've got blink root. 
we've got the mushrooms. We've got the lead. I definitely could have massively increased my defense and regen. Oh well. I believe there's a touch plate of doom down there. That's a bomb. That's going to get rid of the touch plate. Fantastic. And I think that's another touch plate. I think it must be... Yep, there it is. Dart trap. And a second dart trap. Just make sure we get rid of that in case there's anything else. Ow. Ice bat still... Oh, ow, 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 ow. Stop. Stop it. I can't see what I'm building. Oh, God. Oh! I, I thought I had made a box. I can't believe how hard they hit. What the hell? 75 damage with tungsten armor? And this is just in the snow biome? We're not even like... What's our depth? Like 70? Jeez. Uh, if I'd known they would... St if I'd known they would literally, depending on dice rolls, still two-shot me, I wouldn't have messed with them. Not even a little bit. That's ridiculous. Even if we'd brought the potions, it wouldn't have been that good. Alright, um, so let's do that with the potions. Regen, Iron Skin, I need some lead, because that's healthy to drink. Can I do Shine Potion? No, we need Moon Glow for that, right? Ooh, this actually kills... Some demon eyes as well. Nice. Maybe we'll get a lens this year. Um, I can't make... Oh, I need glowing mushrooms. I think. Well, definitely for the Shine Potions. I can't remember if I need them for the Night Owl Potions. Okay. Let's sell this crap. Um, I don't think we really need the regular rope. It can just stay there. I definitely want those stars. An owl. I still have zero accessories. That is... doesn't seem right. Oh, day bloom. Very easy to farm, but you need a lot of it. And food. Okay, so what's our next move? Well, I really do want that potential snowman cannon. I need ice skates eventually. And I'd love to get the sword. I just have to not underestimate those damn bats. Go get your four gold back? Is that how much it is? Ouchie. There's nothing I'm really saving money for at this point. But it couldn't hurt. 
I think I would have expected uh, maybe 50 damage from the ice bats after seeing how weak the red slimes were. Against the tungsten armor, that is. 75, that is over the top. Oh, he did hit me. Never mind. Thought I could just wait underneath that slime. Boom. Do 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 do. Definitely can't reach that with this hook. Also, I think the ice biome was where we found both of our hearts, right? It's our best chance of leveling up our max health. I forgot to buy grenades. That works. Yeah, get lavered. Alright, so our corpse is down here. And an ice bat is already here. And that one that killed me is still there for some reason. Uh, I wish that the game would just be consistent about simulating enemies within a certain radius. And not make exceptions. That's so many bats. So if I'm unlucky, these things can literally two-shot me. Let's just dig around them. Also, that's another touch plate that I should be removing. There we go. There's only one gold. Could have just as easily not as bothered, but I want to be in this biome regardless. Mobs that pick up your gold do not re oh do not despawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why they're shiny. I forgot about that. Uh, oh, okay. you actually just got through that, huh? Okay, okay. Jeez, the nanosecond that I removed that wood. Uh, how about have a bunny? Go on, fly through there. I'm sure you... I'm sure you want to. Yes? Come on, you can do it. No? I think the bunny will probably explode me as well is the only trouble. But it's a nice buffer to have. <laughs> I've actually got 10 healing potions. Oh! Operation Explosive Bunny is successful. Fantastic. I also want the Gravestone Marker. We need those to make uh, graveyard biomes. Thank you. Uh, what's over here? Some lava? Probably nothing else. I should... Oh, what, 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 no, uh, oh no, I, I knew those were coming, or could come, I took the gravestone, I looked for it, I saw nothing. They don't always spawn, I was looking out for the ghost, and then it wasn't there, and it arrived 600,000 years later. Bruh. Like, 
seriously, that was like a whole minute after I picked up the... Uh, that's frustrating. And why does it two-shot me in silver, in tungsten armor? <sighs> Is it the seed, or am I forgetting just how overpowered certain enemies are? Glad I didn't guzzle the potions like I was going to. Yes? <laughs> Is it both? I'm pretty sure slimes dealing, like, red slimes dealing like 70 damage if you have almost no armor sounds about normal. But ice bats dealing 75 through tungsten? I may as well just be fighting naked. Red Slime did 52 with Tungsten. Yeah, it did 70 when I had, like, Cactus Armor. And then it only did 35 when I had Tungsten, actually. That was the first test, anyway. There is a bit of damage RNG, but... I wish this sword wouldn't face the wrong way when I'm trying to back up. Oh my god. Okay. Another one. That regen is kind of strong, though. I thought it was going to jump the same direction. super overpowered ghosts that we can't see coming and that wait two minutes so that our guard is down. Not this time. Wouldn't want to be consistent. Okay. Okay, 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 wow, Jesus Christ. That took forever to show up. I literally just waited here for it. And the moment that I was convinced it wasn't coming, that's when it came through the floor. I don't have any more... Mana. Yeah, we do. Come on. I know you can. There you go. Isalia, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm actually surprised we're at 140 health already. Again. A shine potion would be really nice. Give me all the slush. And what's this? 
I think that's a Viking. Yep. Hey, our first chest! It only took seven hours. Uh, don't fall. That would be bad. The only projectiles I have... I'm gonna miss all that. There we go. I don't think he can actually get up here. Takes longer than I thought it would to do infinite casting here. Let's just use one of my two grenades. He dodged it! You cheeky bastard. Oh my... That's just rude. How dare you, sir. In before, this is actually a mimic. In pre-hard mode. Why don't I just make some arrows? Oh, that's a bat. No, you don't. Get out of here. He's gone. Alright. Uh, arrows. That's actually a large number of arrows. Oh, I forgot that that is possible that I could go through all of my wood. Whoops. Oh, this works. Probably about as quick as using the yo-yo, if I could reach him with it. Doesn't appear to be a mimic. Oh my god, die. Okay. It's not a trap either, and we have a boomerang. 23 melee damage. That is a pretty big improvement over our other stuff. We also got an ice machine. Nice, thank you. T-Hacks, do you already have all the Christmas gifts solved? My progress is 50%. It's good. Some years my progress is 0% on December 23. Uh, what, what day is it? It's, there's more than a month left. No, I don't have all of my Christmas gifts solved. Uh, that's not an explosive. Fantastic. I've only got two minutes left on that buff potion. Or pair of buff potions. Ow! Slush. I want to make the most of it, but... Okay. Running into a piranha and not dying, that's... This is a very unusual place to find a piranha, I would argue. Um, in like a 3x3 three three block of water inside the middle of just chunks of ice and snow underground. That's, um, that seems a little strange to me. I don't think I want to be in this big room, but I want to see what we've got over here. <gasps> is that what I think it is? It is not what I think it is. It's just some... Freaking cobwebs, actually. Got my hopes up. That's a heart, though. Pretty difficult to reach. Very difficult to reach, one might argue. Pretty much suicidal at this point, actually. My mum starts collecting Christmas gifts already in spring. That's very proactive. About to run out of buffs. How about this? That 
that works. Do not want to mess around with these bats. Let's see if we can get the boomerang through. Nice. Now if we could just hit something, that'd be great. Anything at all, even once. Now I can't find an angle that works. Okay. We got it. But I didn't... There we go. It started missing even though I didn't move my mouse. Probably sliding on ice. Hurry up and die. Thank you very much. There we go. The slime's gonna be nasty, but nothing like if the bats were in there. Oh my goodness! Okay, it actually only did 35 damage, but I think it could have frozen us. If we were unlucky. Oh, Flinxes, finally. We can get our first summon if I kill, like, what, three or four of those? But they're kind of hard to find. So, I could get a super early summoner build. If I can just get some flinks fur to gather, get a loom, make some silk, make obsidian armor, assuming it doesn't need a hellforge. Oh no, we need the uh, brain of Cthulhu, I forgot. That's a lot of cobweb. Fantastic. Oh, what the? Jeez. Slush. Okay. I want to go over there. I don't want to go over there. I want the loot from over there. Maybe if I... dig my way in and come back after the monsters have despawned. I need to get down there though, that's a little tricky. Speaking of tricky, there are bats behind us. That's a snowflakes. We could get our first summon if we just stay here a while, in theory. I believe we need six snowflakes Maybe I should try and get this thing killed a little bit faster. Ow! Holy 120 damage per touch, Batman. That is not what I was expecting. That, that is outside even my most pessimistic expectations. Well, we got the Flinks Fur at least. Only one, though. T-Hacks, do you have place for two emotes? I do. Similar style like, oh no, one will say, oh my, and other goodness? That's a good idea. I was thinking about how to fit that in one emote, but maybe I was going about it all wrong. Um, so yeah, Flinxes can almost one-shot us. That's, um... <gasps> I realized what I was about to do. I let go of the mouse. It didn't work. My guard has just been... E ever since the first death, my guard has just been way, way, way down. That's how that works, pretty much. Um, Alright, this can go in here. 
We only need one more death to make a graveyard biome. Yay! Let's just put that there for now. It's Veldak's fault? Wow, okay. Wait. You're the one who said it's Veldax. Uh, I mean... Probably not. Let's be honest. Oh yeah, let's find out how much Blink's fur we need. For the first summon. We need ten gold bars, though. We do indeed need six fur. Speaking of things we need that we never get... Can we get a lens? Preferably before this thing flees because it's morning. Oh, it gets frostburn. Hey, that's a black lens. That's not what I was looking for. That's that's actually a hundred out of ten troll right there. Um, I don't know where to put things. I need more storage space. Oh, and we got our first two recall potions after 1700 hours of play. Um, thanks? I guess? I mean, I know the game normally throws these at you like confetti, but this is a little bit too far in the other direction, I would argue. Okay, may as well eat our squirrel. I have so far to go to get my stuff back. Or oh, gold, I guess. It's, it's like eight gold that we dropped. Why am I going this way? Should probably get some more mana. I never really tried that hard for the uh, early game snow items, except for the flink stuff. I never realized it was that dangerous, but I strongly suspect it's the seed. way. Ow. I want to kill this while we're here. Dart trap. I haven't actually searched over there yet either, but it's bat country, so why would I? Stone marker number four, I think it is. And let's wait 17 minutes to find out if a ghost is coming. A, a fairy is coming to distract us. It's probably going to show us... Yep, here comes that ghost. Uh, it's probably going to show us that heart that we know is there. that we've been wanting to reach for ages. There we go. And 
that's a bat. It definitely wants to show us that heart. Why can't I get through here? Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, you know what? I might just burn one of those teleport potions already. Are you serious? It went straight through my sword. I don't know what to say to that. It shouldn't have even been physically possible, and the odds of that are just astronomically bad. Remind yourself that overconfidence is that was not overconfidence. That shouldn't have been possible. I mean, I know we got one of the worst rolls possible on this sword, but like... It's got the swing speed and DPS and knockback. It's only the size that's smaller. This bat flew right through this at the exact moment it needed to. Faster than the bat should be able to fly. Because it like bounced off a wall. Unbelievable. Ah, I guess I should make a better sword. Shouldn't have to do this, but here we are. Can we even do that with 12? Yeah, we can. We get like one more damage out of this. Wow. What a waste. Probably should have made the bow instead. At least it's not arbitrarily small. Alright, let's sell this thing. Should probably make a better bow as well. Let's do tungsten. And I should make better arrows. Ice torch. Um... Crossburn arrows. 170 seems okay for now. Keep that where it is. How is it we've played this long and seen one chest, by the way? Zero accessories, one chest, two hearts. In before a bat flies through this sword screen as well. I forgot, I need gold to make the flink stuff. Not that I see myself farming flinkses right now. Where's our corpsicle? Over the lava. Let's eat food. Oh, look, it's the bat that blew through an impossible screen of sword. Let's see if he can do it again. Why can't I? Okay, I hate the way this works now. I can't back up and keep the sword facing the same way unless I go incredibly slowly, or it seems to 
turn around eventually anyway. But if I take a step or two, it doesn't turn around. That's like, that's the worst of both worlds. And we wait for the inevitable ghost. I'm not going to be convinced it's not coming. Is this the one time? Maybe it is. I don't trust it. I also haven't bought any more grenades. Well, it would help if I had the money on me at the time. How far can I toss these bummy bunnies? I actually can't toss the bunnies. They just drop. Which makes them... I don't want to say useless. They're very useful, but very situational. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Oh my god, there's another? Okay, okay. You want some more? There you go. There's so many flinxes I want to kill down there, but I can't, like... What if I literally just build myself into a box and make the box creep forward? Is that how we can make this work? Gonna need something other than wood here. I'm just going to build an elevator from the inside. Let's get some... Some rope. And... How do I... Where's my rope? There we go. Uh, L Green, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I have an idea. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. We just got 14 flinks fur from that. Because they never despawned around here, probably because I died here. That's the ghost now? Bruh. Can I drop a... a bunny on it? Potentially? Not quite. Oh, now I've got company. Okay. I don't... Yes. Perfect. How about a bomb? Get bombed. Okay, I really want that heart. Don't die to silt or slush. Jeez, how did that even work? Probably the auto target getting overzealous. Okay, do not get fooled by... Nope, we're fine. Alright, we finally get that life crystal, and this one down here as well, please. Looks like that viking left of his own accord. If this bat would just get out of the way, that works too. Fantastic. And we got the loot. Beautiful. 180 health. 
And we get all this flinx fur. Now we need gold, and I've wasted gold on the sword. I need like 10 gold to make a summon. That's gold. We could go back that way. Why can't I get... Oh, I have no torches. There we go. That's all of our wood, though. I'm not even going to try and cross to the left. Up there. Oh my god. No. No. Jesus Christ. Literally the nanosecond I try to crawl through there. Viking almost manages to drop on my head. Uh, you know what? Screw you guys. I'm going this way. We're just gonna dig. Another flanks. I don't think we need any more. I can't believe we got... Oh yeah, I forgot how dangerous these are now. That's actually terrifying. Okay, this angle's pretty good. I'm gonna call them demon flinxes from now on. There we go. This way. It's four or five to make one bar, right? And we need ten. It's looking like a decent amount. Ow. Alright, that's a start. Oh, there's more gold over here. Alright, how much have we got? We've already got four, and we can make... Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness for that. Let's make our first summon. Beautiful. This'll help. Uh, and we could also make a plus one summoning jacket thing, but it's one defense. Summon damage increased by one twentieth, which is to say it won't increase its damage at all. Um, I'm not going to sacrifice four, five, six defense for plus one minion. Um, if the minion's not going to do any more damage either. Thank goodness emote, it works as separate emotes. Thank goodness. Wait, it works as separate emote. I'm not sure if I understand. Oh, goodness itself is a separate emote. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So thank and oh my or something? I'll have a look at the chat again later. Make sure I get it all. Yes. Okay. Alright, so that's our tombstone number four. We just need one more for the graveyard biomes. It's actually early in the night, so I can't go anywhere on the surface. Um, I think I've been traumatized by the ice biome, so I'm going to go down this way instead. Maybe I should try and fish up some specular fish. Maybe this... Maybe, maybe uh... 
for the worthy wants you to earn your potions or something. The best I can do right now is an iron rod. Where is it? Reinforced fishing pole. But I can at least get the 35% bait power from the worms. Let's get one more mana crystal first. Fantastic. It's actually exactly the right number of uh, stars. Okay. May as well use that firefly as well. If I connect these two bodies of water, we'll have a good size uh, fishing area. Let's try not to land. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! I didn't even see that. What the hell? Try not to land on a trap, I was gonna say. Oh, wow. Go get him, flinks. I'm loving it. Alright, I probably shouldn't have thrown away all of my... How you say... Glow sticks? Okay. Let's just make sure all of this is one body of water. Three damage. 24 damage. That's a pretty big difference. The difference between those two hits from that one worm was eight times. Oh, I'm almost dead. That's, uh, that's probably worth a potion. Alright, let's do some fishing. Post a Discord reminder. Thanks, Veldak. Nice loud voice. I love it. Wait, what? Specular fish. This is what we use to make these potions. Armored cave fish, fantastic. Yeah, uh, it would have been way faster if I'd done a little fishing. Of course, we want to wait until we've got at least, what is it, 50% fishing power, I guess. It also helps to have a minion when you're fishing, just a little bit. Let's get up here so that we don't have to worry about the grappling hook timer. What do we get in our crate? A radar! This is our first accessory. We got it from fishing in like less than a minute. We get 3% movement speed. Wow. I can't believe I've got two armored cave fish before, uh, and a radar before I've got, like, a shackle. Okay, the Flinx is just crushing it. I forgot just how strong they are in the early game. Pretty aggressive, too. When did I get journeyman bait? I guess it was from the crate. I think we're going... Wow, eight gold, okay. Uh, I think we're, we're going positive on bait already. At this rate. Um, but now that I look at the time, it is about time to finish for today, actually. I might do a little fishing and actually build an NPC house that looks somewhat respectable. 
um, before the next stream. So we don't have NPC slums. I'll try and look up if there's any uh, bomb-proof tiles that are available at this stage of the game so that I can have a tree farm that doesn't self-destruct and twist the landscape. But for now, I think it's about time to look for someone to raid. Let's see. Oh, I, I, just one more fish. Show me what you got. Wooden crate. Fantastic. Contents not so fantastic, but that's okay. Let's see who's streaming Terraria. Uh, quite a lot of people, actually. I forgot just how crowded this is since the update. <laughs> Who should we raid? Um, good question. If at first you don't succeed, die again. Perfect. Let me just check we can chat there and stuff. Seems a good. Get the old copy paste in there. And we are able to read. Beautiful. All right, let's go. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. In a couple of days, we'll be continuing with Long War of the Chosen for XCOM 2. We're actually just about to start fighting everything on the first enemy HQ invasion. So that's kind of exciting and terrifying. Uh, after that, we'll be doing Oxygen Not Included, and the day after that, we go for another three days of space exploration. But for now, I'll see you all in a couple of days. Take care, Velda. Thanks for hanging out, and the suggestions. And uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out. Take care, everyone else as well. And I'll see you next time. See you next time, Evil Plot.